Get it. Hello. Freak out. Hey, oh. Are we doing oh, it? Freak out. Oh, oh my god. How y'all doing, you beautiful boys? Hey, yo, how's it going, bros? Hey, yo, how's it going? You hey, yo, how's it going, bros? It's good to how's see you. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going, dude? Going, dude. Going, going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We knew. Nice, we nice. Knew. We're doing it. Hell yeah. That's how it goes. It's just how it goes. How Jeez. We do. How we heck and do? Oh, and the title <laughs> didn't change on YouTube for once. I'm so proud of us. Finally. We did it. Finally! Oh, prophecy! You're showing the correct thing. The prophecy. It is okay. the prophecy. <laughs> okay, but seeing as it's doing that there, I have to... Let's see here. Yeah, Twitch. Check the, Did... check the Twitch. <laughs> it worked on Twitch, too! Oh, my God! Uh, it's a fucking miracle! Oh, I didn't think we'd get this far. <laughs> Do me fucking either. <laughs> oh, finally. Whew. An That's early right. start. Yeah. 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 We want to have an early start so we can buy with y'all for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Although, if you're on YouTube, technically it's a late start because we, we just set a different time. <laughs> That's uh. crazy. That's ridiculous. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what do you mean? I've never heard anything ever. Also, way to go, Ben Was. They finally finished Call from the Deep. Good job for not dying. <gasps> oh, it was good job. fucking close. <laughs> right? <laughs> It's yeah. real touch and go there for a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, also, don't say that till you've seen the epilogue game. Also, <laughs> Atomic Cola, don't talk to me about the has-been hotel finale. I'm still not <laughs> over some things, and um, I, I am, I'm in love with Lucifer until the day I die. Just so. Everybody knows. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know the full context of it. I'm not gonna ask for it because I don't want to do spoilers in here. Mm -hmm. Did you get? Did you guys see on our Discord someone pointed out? That they had like word for word, like I'm I'm not saying it was like taken from us. Just very funny that it was like we had the same thought, but word for word they had uh, a joke we used in Sword Art Online Abridged as well. Really? Which one? <laughs> no, I didn't see that. I didn't yeah. see that. Yeah. Here, uh, in in the spoiler zone on our Discord. Mm. Okay, I'll go look. Uh... I'm going. I'm looking. <laughs> Mm, yum, yum, yum. Most recent one and it was just this morning. I ate too much rice. Oh no! Oh no! Carrie, oh. are you looking forward to Spider-Man coming out next month-ish? Probably. Uh, which Spider-Man's coming yeah, out what's, next month? Yeah, what's coming out next month? I don't know. Uh, they just said uh, the forward to Spider-Man. Looking forward to Spider-Man. And I don't know which one they're referring to. There's the there, Spider-Man. There's the Madam Web movie coming out in like a week, but I don't know any Spider-Man stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because huh. that's explicitly not Spider-Man. It's a bunch of ladies. <laughs> like... Ladies? Spider-ladies? Ladies. <laughs> Thank you for the resub, uh, Kazer. They say, so uh, that, has been, that has been finale, eh, Carrie? Also can't wait for more of this campaign. <sighs> <laughs> Yo, did you see me. some of the TikToks that I sent you? Me? Did you see the yeah. TikToks I just sent you? Because I didn't know you were watching. I, I, no, I didn't. I, I, didn't. Good, I also did stream. Yep. Be professional. Yup, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you go on TikTok? On stream? Why would you do that right now? <laughs> but fucking no, dude, I didn't know if you were watching it, so I was like, I don't want to send you spoilers because I don't want to fucking do that that's to the fair. boy. Yeah. That's but, fair. Uh, that's fair. I, I also that's finished that's it. I want to watch it. It's some, it's some Lucifer shit. It's some shit that Lucifer says to Adam that I was like, if <laughs> Old, old Lucifer. <laughs> oh my oh man. god. Oh, that yeah. Alex Brightman gets to be two whole characters. I love <laughs> yep. And I'm not going to say anything about that. <laughs> Look at him go. Uh. Huh. Okay, well, seeing as an official trailer has come out, I'm pretty sure that release date's going to change. Apparently, March 2024 was supposed to be the original release date for Beyond the Spider-Verse. Oh, yeah, I remember. That got delayed as fuck. <laughs> that ain't coming out anytime soon. Yeah. No. I just I just typed in Spider-Man March 2024. Just be like, what are you talking about? What could it be? Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, also, just because we were talking about this, and I always think it's a fun fact. Uh, I I got to audition for the Has Been Hotel in 2017. Uh, mm -hmm. I auditioned for I Alistair. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was a wild ass thing, dude. And that was oh. also why I wasn't sure if you were watching it. I was like, right. Chase, Chase is a grown that. out boy, but I don't know if he's like. I should have been Alistair. <laughs> like, sitting I, there, I like, mean, God I mean, damn it. <laughs> like, I wouldn't have been Alistair anyway. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was Even thinking it I too. I was like, role, I wouldn't have the role. Right. I'm like, I Chase is incredible and I, I always want good things for him. But mm -hmm. it's probably a good thing he didn't get it because then it would just be the huge disappointment of cool. I was Alistair and now what I'm not Alistair anymore. What do you mean I could have been on screen with Alex Brightman? <laughs> <laughs> Kayser, don't even talk to me about Serpentius. I fucking love Serpentius and it doesn't help that Spencer can do a really good Serpentius that he discovered on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> it's not okay. Oh my God. I assume Spencer can do both Serpentiuses, both the first one from the pilot and also the fucking new voice that they did. With I don't Alex remember Brightman. what they did in the pilot. Uh, yeah. It was Serpentius. fucking Stamper. <laughs> Oh, oh yes, yeah, God. you can totally do both. You yeah, can do both. God damn it. Oh. Also, oh, hang on, I just remember because I just saw a donation pop up. Uh, Spencer, could you do me a favor because we were really bad tech wise last week? If there were any donations from last week, could you also read those out? Because we missed them and we're very, very sorry. Uh, yeah, there were about three of them. Shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, last week, um,. Soggy Wonton, <laughs> seven days ago, Soggy Wonton donated $10 saying, hi, Soggy Wonton oh. here. Sorry, I can't moderate until later tonight. <laughs> About to head into physical therapy appointment. Uh, have oh, fun. I hope oh. that went well. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the $10. <laughs> have fun playing this super special game. By the way, is there a smartphone 2.5 in the works since smartphone no. 2 was released on Patreon? That's Don't weird. lie to Wait. people like <laughs> that. What do you mean? There's no smartphone too. Don't bait people Yet. into subscribing Yet. to our page with lies. Uh, Where I'm, I continue to manifest it every day. Yeah. <laughs> every day I wake up and I'm like, dear God, I would like dear, for there to be a smartphone too. <laughs> dear abridging um, Jesus, aka a. Little a. Martin. <laughs> yeah. Look, I, I'll say. I'll say this. Praying fucking <laughs> I'll 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 say this. Smartphone two has a better chance of happening than some of the uh uh you know praying into existence videos I've seen on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so uh Fair Boy donated a hundred dollars seven days ago. Uh ah! well done, Carrie. Can't wait to hear your voice in the game. I hope you enjoyed the little bit of my voice you got to hear before I got fucking murdered. <laughs> oh my god. You're excellent. And I hold out hope that you're still alive in that dungeon somewhere. I mean... Ignored by your niece daughter. <laughs> I was gonna say, I feel like you have more hope than my fucking niece daughter does. She's elsewhere, man. She don't yeah, give a shit about me. Fully with forgotten. With zero fucking She's context to this. Ghost boyfriend. Yeah. This is fucking great with zero context. You're welcome. I, I love all of this. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um... Thank you, Alexander Rall. Thank you, Alexander Rall, for the $134. Uh, oh my seven god! Days ago. Saying, oh. love the work you all do. Did you ever finish the Desperate Housewives game? That stream had me laughing so hard out loud at work, and I've re uh, and I've re-listened three times already. Keep the giggles okay. coming and have an irresponsible number of drinks on me. <laughs> well, you heard it here first. There's high demand for more Desperate Housewives. Yeah, we gotta go is. back, boys. The people We've practically are been commissioned. clamoring for it. Mm -hmm. Practically a mob. Uh, I mean, you. I, 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 uh, I'm down for it, but I can't imagine we'll ever get something nearly as surprising as the sudden stealth mechanics. Uh. This is so sad. So fucking sad. I'm so upset. God damn it. Just walk over to the blender. No, no, don't pick up the phone. Touch the blender. God damn you. I'll kill you. <laughs> and then you went to your husband's work oh. and slapped oh, his geez. secretary just cause. <laughs> I didn't blow off steam. Exactly. Man, YouTube chat has been going off about cheese. I don't know why. Huh. They've just been spamming the chat with cheese. <laughs> I, don't know why. I think they realize that they'll get timed out if they ask about SAO, so they're replacing it with where is cheese. 
Oh, well, that's I cool. See. Thanks for giving us the word that we know to ban. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. Do you call me... You know what? I personally oh. interpret it to be, but they want more of my rendition of cheese and the Roland Nolan Sonic abridged. <laughs> and they Hell just yeah. can't get enough of my cheese rendition. That makes that sense. The bridge series. The cheese boy. Mm -hmm. Um, And thank you, Brayden. Not our Brayden, but... Um, mm. But uh, sure. for the twenty six dollars and ninety two cents, saying, mm. uh, "Been watching Sao a bridge for a long time. Started watching your RPG stuff with this series and have been loving it. Keep uh, keep up the amazing content. Thank you. Oh, thank you. So and then Sane Lunacy don't uh, gave us five gift subs. So that thank you so much. Oh yeah. Oh, that's very Appreciate nice. Appreciate you guys. Oh yeah. But... Saga Wonton, thank you for the five dollars. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hi, Saga Wonton here. PT went good last week. Uh, however, the water pump on my vehicle has committed Sudoku. Uh, no! And I thus, I <laughs> I must drive other things. That is unfortunate. I'm so sorry. Yep, I hate when that happens. Yeah. Uh, oh, but no, thank you. Thank you all for continuing to support us. And we're, uh, we're, we're glad that those of you who are showing up are enjoying yourselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited to go on this new venture with you guys, and hope hopefully we can we can build this up into something really cool. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hell uh, yeah. And speaking of something really cool, uh, just to mention it before we get started on anything crazy. Mm-hmm. The stream sponsored by Mage Hand Press. It, also it's that yeah. crazy. I'm still not over it. I don't think I'll be over it. Happen. We may Do never. Yep. No. They're cool boys. We'll talk about them more later. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll go off. They're, we'll they're go incredible, off and we week. love them. Mm-hmm. Not next week, they're, but later they're, this they're week. Later in the stream. Mm -hmm. they're, they're really cool, because we, we're we probably about to show something, and they were cool with us showing it, so mm -hmm. that really oh, says yeah. how cool yep. they are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I true. You've, sure you whatever. have... You've talked around this, and I know... I. Yep. Chase is you, the only you, one who knows nothing about this. <laughs> <laughs> And I, right. yeah, and and you offered to show it to me, and I, well, I I said no, and I I'm oh boy, I'm not sure if I'm ready. Yep. <laughs> oh scared. god. Yep. <laughs> hey mods, is it possible to grab the link to the Spotify of this playlist? We should link. We should like have like a little command that links to like the 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 Spotify. Uh, or yeah, or the, can, the podcast links. That'd be cool. I could do that. That'd be neat. Here, vamp for a bit while I activate Nightbot. All okay. right, here we go. Okay. Okay, cool. Dirt I'm going to be right. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab some water. <laughs> well, son of a bitch. <laughs> that's, that's not, not vamping. vamping at all. God damn it. That's the opposite of vamping. That's fucking leave. No, that's vamping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go vamp. Uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go vamp in the privacy of my own home. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Well, that's nope. that was Crying not the out. direction I expected that to take. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, vamp for me, sure thing. <laughs> See you Should guys I later. Should I link it was like that time to, we told uh, Spencer to talk uh, and talked over him. Mm. What's up? Is Should I link to the Spotify specifically or the website that has all of the various links in case they want to listen to it elsewhere? Uh, the website that has all of them, I think. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all are probably going to pick Spotify, because let's be real. But, you know, you never but, know. Just in case you yeah. want to listen somewhere else, or they're elsewhere. Yeah. It's nice to offer options. <laughs> vamping. Oh, We're doing it. We're vamping. I, yep. We're doing yeah, it. I We're just, talking I, about I, things. Damn it. <laughs> I know, right? I am. I, Listen, y'all did this uh, to me last week. I was struggling with a puzzle, and y'all were just sitting there silently <laughs> watching me fucking struggle. And I was like, talk to the chat! Do something! <laughs> like, we have nothing to say! <laughs> yeah. Just say anything! Anything! anything. We should get anything. married! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should get married, just macking his at each other. <laughs> he thinks it's a fan, obviously! <laughs> What are we talking about? What? We're vamping. <laughs> Don't worry about it. All right. <laughs> Great. Yeah. The tale is old as time. Vamping. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The oh, vamp man. is old as rhyme. 
Beauty and, and the fam. fam. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. And yeah, as always, those of you who you know who want those updates, we got it monthly in the community tab and on Patreon. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep up with yep, those. And yep, you'll get we are your constantly answers. telling y'all what's happening with SAOA. You don't have to ask. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's right <Yeah>. there. <laughs> the answer is at yes. your fingertips. We're, yep, it's it's we're... more trouble to message us and ask than it is to just check. It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> this, you know, th these these guys are working on it all the time, and just Friday Friday kind of is just like a non sort of line of bridge day. It's so we don't get burnout or want to die. <laughs> we take four Ew. hours on Fridays. <laughs> Well, thank you, Soggy Wonton, for the ten dollars. Uh, Hi, Soggy Wonton. Hi, Soggy Wonton. Here, are you telling me that I shouldn't tell the chat about how smartphone uh, released last week on Patreon and how the secret news, a uh, new series, Drop Door lying. Abridged, is true. coming it's out on Patreon true. tonight? <laughs> I mean, if y'all want to go become patrons, sure, but I'm not gonna lie to you, that's not there. <laughs> like, man, peddles <laughs> falsehoods. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't forget oh, no, right. Nights. on Fridays we also have movie nights so if you do go to the Patreon you can also join our Discord and then hang out with us and watch movies yeah. which is really fun it's a good fucking time you know, mostly I, again I yeah, well mostly <laughs> yeah. it's, there is there is no join November now of Ugh. course of course you could have not be happy it's be happy it's condensed into one month the rest yeah, of the we used year to, there's tried, literally yeah. nothing stopping you from just watching bad movies like throughout the rest of the year because that's what you guys like to do, you fucking si you fucking masochists. Yeah, but <laughs> we're being nice to you and condensing it into one month. Bullshit you are. <laughs> <laughs> Bull fucking shit. You just slapped the name on November and continue to watch bad movies throughout the rest of the year as well. We All haven't right? watched a bad movie yet. What the fuck are you talking about? Yet. Yet, Keep yeah, we're going off till November. <laughs> Last month was obviously joyous January. Exactly. <laughs> this month's fucking cool February. <laughs> fucking cool Hell yeah. February. Dude, let's just label every month. Let's go. <laughs> like, I'm here for Sounds it. Sounds great. You just watch a bunch of fucking month. action movies. Like, uh, Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super oh, fucking God. down. I I don't, I don't know. If, if we if we did that, then January feels like it should be the, the fucking... Uh, m month for the bad movies because I I just think of that just makes me think of Red Letter Media with uh, their reviews. Fuck you! It's January. Uh. Oh my god! Because <laughs> that's always that's always when Hollywood's putting out the movies the studio doesn't believe in. Sucky one. January February. Thank January you. February. That's always what happens. <laughs> Thank ah, you for nice. the uh, five dollars, Soggy Wonton. Uh, oh, hi, you. Soggy Wonton here. Are we watching Aragon tonight after stream? No. Dear God, no. <laughs> Maybe in November. <laughs> we, we, we don't know what we're watching, but it's not that. It's all I fucking know. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say this. I'll say this in its defense. I don't think it's bad enough to be like No Joy November kind of like bad movie. Like Aragon's just a very meh movie. It's like bad you're when not you know wrong. the context of the book. <laughs> you're not wrong, but you're really hyping up November. <laughs> is all I'm saying. You're saying that as someone who didn't see the movies that inspired us to make it themed. Yeah. You're right. I don't know how bad you're gonna get. I I I can only fucking imagine the depth. One of them. Of one of them movies. was the oh. live action live uh, you know, last Airbender from M Night Shyamalan. If yep. that gives you a sense. Oh. Okay. <sighs> okay. Yep. That's that movie was so bad. My friend Tom risked a job at Best Buy by telling a woman that they didn't have it there. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Not so all funny. heroes wear capes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. He's an absolute fucking hero. What an absolute <laughs> king! <laughs> That's king shit right there. <laughs> You're correct. Uh, okay. All right, all right. Uh, we should show the thing. Yes, I want to show a thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, Carrie and I, uh, wanted to get a, a neat little, neat little commission. Done. That's, I knew oh, it. Boy. Um, <laughs> what, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's a little, it's a little spicy. Um, a little bit spicy. Oh, no. It's a little spicy. So uh, if you're 
I don't know, averse to that look away for the next, I don't know, minute or so. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and uh, here, here we go. This is a this is a nice little uh, got a nice little commission of Soraya. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Look at her, she's so goddamn pretty. <laughs> it's true. Oh my god. Mhm. Mm Whew. There you go. Oh, one second. I'm gonna name the artist. Yes, please do. Hot. Yes, oh. extremely. Uh, yep. uh, <laughs> they go by T M Alia on Artists and Clients. One second, I'll put their name in the chat. It's pronounced Alion. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> what also, an incredible fucking shirt. Yep. You're right! Say, Show we... them the other thing! <laughs> so we asked them to specifically make a logo for Hard Light Construct on her shirt. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, there you go. There's, there's the logo for it. <laughs> This is the logo. Bobin's favorite Constant. band has a canon logo I'm now. Chase your yep. thing at my mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we God, have to sell like, this. I, yeah. Like I want that shirt. That's a yeah. good shirt. We I... have to. We have to find a way to make this real. We do. We do have I to find a way. I need it. I need it. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Soggy Wonton, for the $5, yeah. saying, Hi, Soggy Wonton here. Ah, my good innocent eyes burned by scandal and perverse images. Also, <laughs> are we getting another fanfic, fanfic night? <laughs> oh my god. Hell yeah. But yes. Um, yeah, but no, yes, chat, you're correct. Abs for fucking abs. days, bitch. Mm -hmm. She's abs so though. strong. <laughs> She's so small, but so long. strong. So fucking mighty. Also, if you look close, she's got four toes. Um, yes, and three <laughs> fingies. And three fingies. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Which we specifically yeah, asked for. Yep. yep. We were also so fucking precise about the eyes. And also the abs. I was very <laughs> picky like, about the eyes. Yeah, you were very picky about the eyes. <laughs> oh, uh, she's so I'm, pretty. I'm oh, what a cutie. I'm, so good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest, this isn't what I was picturing with the way you were talking about it, Carrie. Yeah, uh, dude, it's is... only mildly spicy. Like, it's only it's, mildly yeah. spicy. Only mildly. It's not that bad. Mm -hmm. yeah, just a little kick. Yeah. Bordering on wholesome with the fucking hard light construct shirt. Right? I was mm -hmm. like, that's real cute. That's, yeah. that's, that's real cute right there. I, can, I have to imagine that Bobin lets her wear that because it could not possibly fit him. Right? Like, I imagine he went to a concert and all the shirts were, like, sold out. Like, the ones in his size. So there were only itty bitty okay. ones left. And he's like, I have, to, I have to buy it. I have to support them. That, <laughs> like, that, <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> that or was originally like a, a hard light construct toque and he just cut holes into it for her. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. Uh. I just like the idea that fucking nearly eight foot tall Bobin goes up to this fucking poor merch booth guy and it's like, do you have any 25 XL? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, sir, I do not. All I have is this. Uh. I have a small. <laughs> Would be like a yeah. small. You can use it as a napkin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. yeah! That's amazing. I fucking uh, love it. I'm glad. Yay. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> oh, good. They're both so good. It's true. Well done. Uh, I love it so much, dude. Uh -huh. Also, my favorite thing was also. I told her the name of the band and I told her like the style and everything, and she like designed the logo and everything. But she she called it hard light construction, and I was like, okay, so note. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like... It'd be funny if Bobin like if he bought like a fucking knockoff knockoff yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bootleg merch. Oh, uh, uh, he's so funny. So be very silly, honey dude. <laughs> I love it. Also, if y'all want to know the energy of what the band hard light construct sounds like go watch the one teen titans go episode about the night beginning to shine it's like the exact energy of that band oh nice oh, i have not seen that same hell yeah hell yeah i've probably seen that and i just don't remember it <laughs> fair it's understandable mm -hmm. I'll, I'll show wait wait sorry did you say teen titans go yes teen titans okay go, then, then yeah right 
Okay, then I've only seen like one or two episodes of that, and then the movies and mm-hmm. uh, the movies yeah. were much funnier than the episodes, so True. <laughs> I didn't watch that much of the show. Oh, put that <laughs> in our chat for y'all specifically, Chase, because I know you watched that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you for mm-hmm. this gift. Mm-hmm. Y'all are very welcome. Thank you for the. I, I'll totally just use the hard light construct logo. Thank you. Totally. Sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Totally. For sure. For sure. <laughs> That's all that any of us are interested in. We don't care about the hot girl. Mm-hmm. Thanks, <clears throat> thanks, May Jam Press for being super cool and us being like, "This is mildly spicy. Are you okay?" Sponsoring a drink yeah. with this in it, and then I being mean, like, "Yeah, that's fine." <laughs> like, I messaged him at like yeah, 3 a.m. Yeah. last night. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, "Hey, are you cool with this?" <laughs> I, I, oh God, oh, it's. We're going to make them regret this. I fucking know, I... dude. We're going to make them regret it today. So oh, I don't know not. what the ad read looks like. I hope not. If not them, then others. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. All right. So, how about we uh, How about we get started? Just That's this ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Why would we do that? Uh, I don't know. It's what we're here to do. It's what the it's what the thumbnail says. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I guess we'll do what's on. You just don't want to be hurt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let me hurt you. True. Oh. <laughs> Cowards. Why do you Cowards. want to hurt this soft kid? Why do you want to hurt this kitten? Why are you a monster? <laughs> Listen, you hurt him more than I did. <laughs> oh my god, did I ever? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is he holding his own character? Look what I did to my boy. <laughs> I've massacred my boy. I've massacred my boy. Father help! Out of a litter. You're yeah. going to suffer so much. Yeah. It's like meow. Meow. <laughs> Ma- m- meow. <laughs> but like in a Boston accent. <laughs> <laughs> Meow's in a Boston accent. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> Meow. Yeah, Meow's in. <laughs> Meow's in Boston. Yep. <laughs> Meow's so in know. space Boston. <laughs> yeah. I just want like I just want extra lore for this stream. You may mm-hmm. occasionally hear a tiny Pomeranian fucking barking like he's attempting to kill God. Um, oh, yeah. That's that's Alex's dog Louie, and he hates shoes. <laughs> So anytime someone All walks shoes? nearby him with shoes on, he'll begin rapidly barking and snapping at the shoes as ah. they walk past him. So and it's that's really what funny that his, his parents have not detected this pattern, even though it's been happening for over, like, two years. And You have to go in there and be happen. like, it's the shoes! We've so, said, we've said, and they're like, no, no, it's not the shoes, no. And then every single time. So, every time. Chase, huh. yep. before we start... What you're saying is, Grim's dog has a foot fetish. Ah. Yeah, perhaps. Or the opposite. No, he he hates no. the shoes. He loves the hates feet. Hates the shoes. He loves the feet. Yeah. No oh, comment. Uh, he yep, he yep. hates anything covering the feet. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Ben Point One makes a very good point. How does he feel about socks? He's fine with socks. He, he doesn't okay. Like socks. Hmm. You can still uh, see the toes. You know, it doesn't cover yeah. up all the definition. Yeah. Here's Louie knows when those dogs are barking. When that dog is barking, those dogs are barking, and he's got oh some things God. to say. About them. Uh, so anyway. now we can begin. Yeah. Now. So now anyways. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the the podcast recordy button here in Where to- in now. Five, four, three. Hello and welcome back to the Crypt Star Saga, episode ah! five. Oh my oh. god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's Here coming. we go. Here we go, boys. Oh, All right. Shit. Here we go again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, last time on the Crypt Star Saga, we started off with the crew being ejected from a void jump. Uh. So that that was that wasn't very good. They found out that it was Thwirls, these psionic purple squirrel creatures that chew on cables to fuel their own psionic abilities. 
Using an illusion to, of, of big juicy cables, the crew was able to lure out the Thwirls long enough for Soraya to kill one and then capture the other. Uh, once that was taken care of, the crew went their separate ways. Uh, Sparrow took this chance to snoop through everyone's belongings, discovering some alarming things about, uh, about everyone. Bobin in particular, he was concerned about. Uh, after the rest of the crew had their, their separate conversations here and there, uh, Alien Star Whisper, the other Coalition member, said goodnight to Sparrow. But it was in Colt Cant. And that seemed to have uh, alarmed Sparrow very, very intensely. <laughs> and can't uh, why. can't imagine why. Uh, and we're gonna we're gonna pick up there. Uh, first, we're gonna we're gonna cut away from that scene there, leave you in suspense a little bit more. Um, I hate you. <laughs> those in the uh, those in the common area, what uh, you guys? What are you doing? Learning watching, what a western is. Yeah, watching western. See. Gotcha. Also, do we have a map? Because I can't see you. I yeah, can't we'll see the map. map. I can't see it for some reason. Uh, I'll reload. Yeah, Bye. reload. Um, okay. I'm gonna scoot over to the couch. All right, you scoot on over to the couch. Take a seat next to Sarai. Okay. Mm. Very, very nice. Very nice. Yep, 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 yep. You hear the door open. <laughs> over to your, uh, over to your north, and you see Captain Harrison Steele walking in. Hello, everyone. Hi, Captain. No, oh, Captain, my Captain. Hmm. Are you all Hello, busy? Captain. Uh, ship's running. Uh, we just need uh need the juice for another jump. Mm -hmm. Um, we we were just building camaraderie by watching this lovely western with our new friend Priscilla. Hmm. Good to see. Good to hear. Would you care to join us? I actually had uh, another idea in mind, if you all would be interested. Oh. And he pulls out a deck of cards. Oh. <gasps> Did anyone care to join me for a little game? I'm, okay, I'm trying to think character-wise if any of us would know how to play any card games. <laughs> <laughs> ironically, <laughs> ironically, I know Pursuer would, but I'm sure he's just like, but. I'm introducing them to westerns. Oh, this is a long <laughs> But Henry, Henry Fonda just showed up. <laughs> for sure, would, would there be a way for us to continue watching the western after we spend some time with the captain? He hits the pause button on the screen. Oh. <laughs> Very reluctantly, I imagine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just like... No. like like she asks that, and he very silently, slowly just. Oop. Oh, real quick, <laughs> I'm going to oh uh, no. switch us, <laughs> switch us over to the play screen here, just so we're oh, all. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so <Almost>. sorry, Mac. <laughs> uh, hey, no, it's fine. I, 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 this is good character stuff. Just, I, just picturing pursuer. They're like, okay. <laughs> well, right. me and the captain got beef now. <laughs> 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 There we go. We just oh. said we were doing something, but all right. <laughs> but sure. <laughs> Let's do your fucking thing. <laughs> I knew the captain was gambling man, but that was rather risky. <laughs> <laughs> Everything goes sepia tone and his pursuer's got like a narrator over the top of it. He didn't know that he fucked up in that moment, but he did. <laughs> <laughs> In that moment, Pursuer swore to use his extended lifespan to dance on the captain's grave. <laughs> <laughs> if you all are too busy, I understand. No, no, that's just none of this happened. Well, I personally would love to play a game with you, Captain. I, I don't think I know. A whole lot, so you might have to teach me, but I would love to play. Fantastic. Uh, I would gladly teach you how to play this game that I have in mind. Oh. Uh, he'll 
wander on over to the table over here uh, and invite you three to join him, whoever wants to play. Dokely. Dokely doke. Bree. was like, nah. Nah, I'm just, I'm gonna <laughs> sit. <laughs> yeah. That's his signature move, sitting. It's true, <laughs> he's, he's taken out many a fall while sitting. <laughs> while sitting, yeah. With a good shit. Mm -hmm. Pursue her secret technique, sitting pretty. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, this is a little game I like to call Blackjack. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, I am going to explain to you uh, three how this game will work in uh, in this game. Uh, okay. We are going to be rolling dice for uh, for cards here. What? Crazy. So, Ridiculous. Uh, when the game starts, uh, each player rolls either a d10, a d8, or a d6 publicly. Then oh, you roll which other two you didn't pick uh, in private uh, as self rolls. After this, you can choose to roll another of those die uh, in order. Uh, so like a d10, d8, and then d6 uh, to get as close to 21 as possible uh, without right. going over. Uh, once you go over, you're out. You're done. Uh, okay. and ties go to the person with the highest d10 and then to the highest d8 and then to the highest d6. After that, if you're all tied up somehow, the pot is split. Okay. Sidebar, I feel bad that Izzy can't play. Is there any way that Bruce Rue could have just come out of the bedroom and been, like, panicked and still can play? Or no? No. <laughs> oh, no! Izzy, I'm so sorry! <laughs> He's got his own thing to deal with. <laughs> but there's no only four shares. <laughs> the captain's like, shame. Shame. <laughs> <laughs> no, the cat. The cat looks like he knows how to play. He can't join. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, he's gonna swindle me. <laughs> like, if you, if you want, you can play. You can play for the captain. Ooh. Yeah, sure. Why not? Hell, Hell yeah. 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 Heck yeah. All right. All Does right. anyone have so, any questions? So we do oh. public public of d10, d8, or d6. Then roll the other two as self roll, right? Yes. Here, I'm gonna post the rules in there in our chat here. Uh, and I'm trying to hit 21. Okay. Right. So I'm rolling my D10 public. Great. Okay. okay. Go for it. And then I got to switch over to SL for all. All right. Bowman got a three. And you don't know these ones in theory. Uh, I wasn't able to see your roll. Uh, Chase, so that's Hooray. good. Doing my public D10. Great, fantastic. Okay, okay, okay. So and private of the other. The dog has seen a yeah, set them to. Uh, self oh no! <laughs> the dog set it to shoe. set it to self roll. Self roll. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let me know when everybody is done rolling. I'm oh. Done? Uh. Okay. Um, did it, I dude? Did it. Okay, and I, I should be going for like the the total, right? Because yes, you should be. Yeah, yeah, you're. Fine. You're. Then, okay, then never mind. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah. Once we're once we're uh, you guys are all done. You'll reveal. Uh, you can right click your your message, like your your dice message, and then click reveal to everybody. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that's uh that's oh. how we'll we'll add it up. Yeah, so we're allowed to roll one of each of those dice, right? You can do your D10, uh, D8, or a D6. You have to roll them in or order. You... Uh, oh, okay. So like once you're once you're done rolling your D10, D8, and D6 the first time, if you want to yeah. roll more after that to uh, to get further to 21, you have to roll it in order. So like a D10, and then a D8, and then a D6 in that order. Okay. Okay. Cool. And those, and and those extra rolls are public. No, those are also private. Those are separate. Okay. But oh, I'm doing yeah. Okay. Okay. So I 
I have rolled one public d10. I can roll one private d10 still, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I didn't know that. I thought we only had like the three dice and we could only roll the three dice. Okay. No, no. After the three dice that you roll initially, uh, you mm -hmm. have to roll the three dice initially. Uh, and then if you want to add more on top of whatever you rolled the first uh, for the first three die, uh, you... You roll like those privately. Taking, it's like uh, declaring a hit. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's like declaring a hit. Okay. Okay. I may uh, have done this wrong, but we'll see. <laughs> all right, that's fine. This Try is learning. This is, the, this, <laughs> is the, this is the tutorial game. Yeah, the captain's teaching us. He said he would teach us. Yeah. Yeah. And like every time you're like adding new cards, it's always like 10, 8, 6, 10, 8, 6, like just repeating. Exactly. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Mm hmm. All right. I will Rolling a D8 privately. Mm -hmm. I did a public oh, D10 damn. and then a private D8 and a private D6. Yes. That's what I did. That's what I did. That's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I but I could have done a public D10 and then a private D10? No. Uh, oh. You What you would have had to do is roll a public D10 and then privately roll a D and a D6. Uh, you can't just say... Uh, you have to roll the D8, D6, uh, and the D10. Like, you have to roll those initially, all like okay. all the time. Okay. And then from there, you just add additional dice if you choose. Okay. 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 All right, Bobin. Bobin's holding. Bobin's okay. Hold. Okay. Rolled enough. Sabai is also holding. <laughs> okay. All right, Captain is uh, done as well. Okay. Uh, Pursuer going one further. Probably a bad call, but let's see. Okay. Okay. Uh, and Holden. Okay. Let's start with Bovin. Uh, okay. actually, let's start with let's start with the captain first. So, since he's the he's the one dealing. Uh, so Izzy, you you started with a D10 that was, a uh, let's see, what did you roll for the D10? Oh no, you rolled a D8 uh, first. Or wait, no, cheater. Oh, I see Sparrow on the wind strip below Boba. No. Oh yeah, you also rolled a you rolled a D eight publicly, uh, as well. Yeah, I just revealed that now. Oh, good, good. So you started with a four or a six, sorry, and then a four. So you're at ten total, and then and then a three, so thirteen, and then an eight, which is. 21. 21. All right. Oh, you hit it. Shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. What the fuck? Uh, the captain... I'm pretty sure the captain's cheating. <laughs> the captain <laughs> got a. <laughs> captain got a blackjack. <laughs> no, we didn't get a blackjack. You got 21. Blackjack's mm -hmm. when you have a face card. Uh, blackjack's when you have a face card and an ace. That's true. Uh, totally he, different. He, yeah. got, he got a 21. This is Bowen. Then... Fuck you, Captain. Yeah. <laughs> like... Yeah. Bla black blackjack would be if he got 21 on those first three dice rolls that's true um <laughs> so all right let's go down the line with bovin uh you started with a what did you start with three. Uh, a three okay what was your next three, roll then i got a uh six and then another three six in the d8 three from the d6 so you're at 12 uh, yep okay then uh got a two on the d10 got okay. a one on the d8 Got a one on the D six. Oh my God! And Jesus got Christ! A five on the D ten, making for twenty one. Wow! <laughs> Son okay. of a bitch! God damn! God damn. I, I fully lost. <laughs> uh oh, she just got that hard to get a twenty one. You just took like eighty cards. It's easy. Oh my! Oh my gosh! Well, man, you're... I don't even know how there are this many aces in the deck. <laughs> you and the captain are like tied. Okay. So, um, let's go to, let's go with Carrie next. Let's go with Sarah, how Soraya. We, how do I reveal rolls? You can right -click. right click the, the message of the, where you roll the dice and then click reveal to everyone. Did it. Okay. All right. So what did you start with? Uh, was public and then... you started with a six on the D10. I did. Okay. What else? What are you revealing here? I got a uh, six on the D10, and then a uh, six on the D8, and then a five on the D6. So I think 17. 
17, and then you held? Yeah, okay. and I held, yeah. All right. Unfortunately, you, uh, Soraya has lost. Mm. Uh, I don't know if I like this game. Can I trade cards? <laughs> no, you well, cannot would... trade cards. <laughs> Why not? Be because that's not how the game works. I'd be enforced. I don't know if I like this game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pursuer. So, uh, Pursuer started with the four uh, for public. The second roll was a six to make it ten. Okay. Uh, oh, here we go. A uh, seven, making it uh, 17 and where is here we go and uh, a three made it uh, 20 <laughs> oh so close so wow. close I, four. I mean you beat me at least mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's very much a, of course I'm gonna hold there Right. I mean, yeah, really? this is great. It makes perfect sense. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Gonna roll a d6 and hope for a snake eyes. <laughs> yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we got two people with uh with twenty ones, uh which would be Bowman and the captain. So then it would go to uh who, like who rolled the highest d10 initially. I think that's the Isboy. Actually, I got a three for my D10. Sparrow yeah. got a six. Yeah. Uh, what did you get on your D10? Uh, you got a six. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, the win goes to Steel. There was no pot this time, but it would have gone to him. Uh, if there was one. All right. Good game, everyone. If I you say so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, you guys got really close. It was close. It was very close. <laughs> Let's play again. I yeah. agree. We should play again. But this time, since we all know the rules now, first game's always free. Second game has a buy-in. Oh. oh yeah. Do that. I have money? Yeah, okay. <laughs> You've got plenty of credits. <laughs> yeah, I was double-checking. I was like, ooh. <laughs> Does a twenty-five You're credit buy? Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> twenty-five just enough at thirty. Oh, oh. Man, you shouldn't spend all your money. Oh, but it is a game. Okay, but you might you might need it for other stuff. Oh, that's true. I mean, you could do whatever you want with your money. I'm just saying, you don't want to have no money. I, but I'll you could win. I will have five whole money. Who needs more than that? That's sure, like enough I, could... for a single burger at Patty Prince. <laughs> sure, could, could I buy in for Bobin? Uh, sure. I'll buy in for you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. 165, mm. and you have like yeah. fucking 30. <laughs> Jesus. Well, you get the money if I win, though. We'll, we'll split it. Um, okay. Yeah. And Pursuer has zero credit, so, uh,. Oh, no, oh, you so have to buy for Pursuer. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to spend all my money buying everybody. <laughs> no. no. It's a uh, Pursuer, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, a bit, uh, bit between uh, bounties at the moment. So uh, that's uh, a little too rich for uh, this uh, old Vex brains. Oh. oh. Hmm. Oh, okay. Unfortunate friend. Eh. Captain, would you be willing to buy in for Pursuer? <laughs> yeah, we, we, we can buy in for Pursuer. You can buy him in if you want. Pursuer, we want to buy you in. Come play. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he got a Western booted up and he's like, okay. All right. He just yeah. hit play yeah. and has to pause it like a quarter second in. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh. No, no. Pursuer would absolutely have still been scrolling through the selection. Mm -hmm. That's fair. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, how much fucking money am I spending to buy all of this in? 75 credits. <laughs> Jesus Christ! But you're playing okay. three hands. You're playing. Okay. 
Uh, I went from 165 to 95 so fucking fast. <laughs> incredible. Jesus Christ. That's great. You're the one who fought for Pursuer to be there, so. Yep. <laughs> we want you to play. <laughs> Whoever, if, if anybody besides Soraya wins, they're going to get a nice pot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Karma. I know we don't get along, but <laughs> it'd be really cool if I could win this. Right. Like... <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm ready. Do me in, Captain. <laughs> okay. So, uh, does anyone need a refresher on the rules? I got him. I think I got it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The yeah, first roll has to be D10, D8, D6, and which of those the, is public the first, is up the first to roll, us. The first roll has to be public? The first no? roll you make has to be public. The yeah, rest are private. Cool. Okay. Okay. Oh, All right. Sorry, I forgot to take that off of private. Mm -hmm. Blackjack. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> you oh fuck. Well, let me let me uh reveal to everyone reveal to everyone eight eight five. Wow. Wow. Fuck, uh, give eight, me your money. That is That's incredible. Crazy bitch. Uh did, did anybody <laughs> else get a black check? <laughs> I've just I've only rolled uh, my first fucking dice. I'm I gotta do more. Yeah, well Can I no, I I can I just reveal mine? Sure. Sure. Because <laughs> I didn't get a blackjack, but I can't imagine going. I. I. I got. I got twenty. I got oh! twenty. God damn it! I, I mean, damn. like, if you if you got a blackjack, I mean, I, I might as. Oh God. I'm, I'm I'm gonna hit one more time. To see if I can get the game's time. over as soon as someone gets a blackjack in traditional rules. Yeah, I, like if, yeah. You, if you get a blackjack, you just you, all right. All right, I went by. I, yeah, I, I think I I'm trying to do math, but I think I I think I fucking bust. I think I'm done. <laughs> like wait, yeah. yeah. I think I I think I have 22. Like let me I'll reveal. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. Oh. So karma really didn't come through for you. No, that bitch don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Captain Bust. Captain Bust. All right. Uh, Bowman, you win. <laughs> Hooray! So Here's you gain credits, I think. Yeah, you gain a uh, hundred credits. <laughs> oh. Here you go, Soraya. Oh, thank you. Do you give her? You've... Do you give her fifty? Or I give her a hundred. Oh, you me. gave her a hundred. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Bob. No, we, I said that we would have it. You don't have to give me all of it. Oh, but you paid for all of the entries, so like you know, yeah, not mine. Was whatever. Well, you had all money. Of my entry, I feel you like you're just trying to pursuer. get all of our money from us, Captain. Of course I am. You're trying to get my oh, money what? as well. <laughs> oh, that's how the game oh, works. I guess it's true. I thought this was just for camaraderie. It is. We can do both things. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't make me like you very much if you take all my money. <laughs> well, it would, it would probably work better if all four of us had income instead of the two. Hmm. I guess that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't have to play for a part if we don't want to. I just find it more fun that way. But. If you guys are struggling for cash, we don't have to play uh, for money. I mean, I'm doing okay now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, enough. You say with the... <laughs> <laughs> Well, I just don't want to lie to you. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> no, we don't have to play for money. I don't. I want to keep playing with Pursuer and Info, but we don't have to mm -hmm. play for money. <laughs> Plus, I still got 30 credits. <laughs> well, then you really should keep 50 of these. We really should have it, so you have more. No, it's fine. Uh, oh. I mean, I I get you paying her back, but I feel like you should at least keep the 25 extra that you won from the captain. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I feel like, well, uh... She paid for 100% of the entry, so she gets 100% of the prize. That works, right? 
That's really nice. But but I I'd like for you to also have money. But you can do whatever you want to do. And then I or, try to also, I try to yeah. reach up to pat pat you, but I'm struggling. Leans <laughs> 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 over also, sideways so you can pat the top of his head. Pat, pat. <laughs> also, again, she didn't pay for hundred percent. She didn't pay for the captain. That's why I think it'd be okay for you to take the captain's share of the pot. I don't. I've never met You're a man right, this Pursua. hard to pay. <laughs> You're right, Pursua. Seventy-five should go to Soraya, and twenty-five should go back to the captain. No, oh no, God. no. If you no. really want, <laughs> captain. No. Right. Puts his hands up and <laughs> like a like a surrender <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> like, <I am. laughs> uh. We'll figure the money out later. I'm happy to play again for not money. Sounds good to me. <laughs> uh, you guys continue playing. Um, say, if we like play again, this will be the time that I get a 21. But right. I'm not <laughs> playing for money. It's yeah. what fucking happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, could you all roll me uh, a perception check? Yes. Just this, this one's just for you. Is this motherfucker cheating? <laughs> It's a good question. Me. I don't know what I rolled. That's I true. I shouldn't know what I rolled. Oh, you it's you all are me. still on self rolls. Uh, oh, oh, once, oh, yeah. One sec, yeah, let sorry, me reveal. Sorry, yeah, we'll change that. Our I don't know what I rolled. Haha. Uh -huh. What? Uh, aren't perception checks a uh, secret anyway? They're supposed to be blind, but we were on self yeah. roll, so we rolled it for just ourselves oh, so and no one yeah. else. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't see yeah. them, is the problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, so if we switch it, if we switch it back to public roll and then do a perception check, will it mod that we can't see it? Yes. Yeah, because I just okay, did, did okay, because I'm gonna do it. Cool, cool. Okay. Sucks. I got a pretty good one. <laughs> right, I got a 19 on my. I, I just clicked reveal to everyone, so. Uh. So you did. Yeah. Uh, roll it again, just because you're not supposed to know the result either. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Change, yeah. change the thing to say public roll and then roll it again. Yep. 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 Soraya and Pursuer, mm. you notice as you guys are playing through the games, the captain is getting more and more relaxed. He he's taken off his his captain's jacket. He's uh, he's got like this sort of t-shirt underneath. Uh, he's rolled up the sleeves, so you oh. can uh, see like see his shoulders, like his upper arms and everything. Uh, you both notice that he has a tattoo. On I'm his literally gonna ask. Oh my god, go on. on his shoulder. Uh the tattoo is of what appears to be like a coin purse and a serpent coiling around said back. Would I recognize it as anything or no? Uh the old snake and coin purse tattoo. <laughs> uh, -huh. <laughs> uh Pursuer, you would recognize it. Ah, uh -huh. This, okay. uh, sorry, say again. Oh, sorry. Uh, and I would, I was about to ask, what would I recognize it as? <laughs> this is the insignia for Sable. <laughs> oh my God! I have no idea what that is, but Max reaction made me happy. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Sorry, you wouldn't recognize this insignia. I don't think. Just because that's not, it's not really your circle that you would. Mm. Yeah, you would. Uh, actually, maybe? no. Why don't you maybe? give? Why don't you give me a history check? Just because you might have been on some. You might have been on like a mission and might have heard of them. Run into them. Yeah, let's go, baby. I don't know if, you probably wouldn't have run into them. You might have heard of them. Fifteen. Fifteen. I'll say yeah. that's enough. Sable hey. is a criminal organization, one of the biggest in the galaxy. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sable yeah. specifically, uh, famously known for being uh, headed by a uh, by a dragon named Noarzaw. Like noir, noir, like as in like you know, film noir, film noir, yeah, 
and then apostrophe Zaw. I'll spell it out in the chat for us here. Is that a fucking black dragon? Because dragon noir. <laughs> like, it is a black dragon. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, They are, they're known as Noir Zaw the Sable Swindler. The Sable Swindler. Yeah. Um, pursuer, upon spotting that tattoo, is going to like finish uh, that round of cards, mm -hmm. and uh, and just be, uh, yo, I'm uh, I think I'm all, all gamed out. I'm uh, I'm gonna see how uh, Barrow's doing. Sure. Okay. Yeah. No problem. And, uh, yeah, he is. He's just going to, as casually as he can, leave the room and head for the beds. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, while you're doing Back that. Out of the room doing finger guns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. You guys have yourselves a heckin' good time. Uh, Spray, right. are you doing anything with this information or no? Ah. Uh. Right. I'll just I'm gonna pause I'm you. I'm gonna pause you right there, yeah. pursuer. Just don't move from that spot from there. Uh, <laughs> Fair. Uh, Captain, mm. that's a very pretty tattoo that you have. Oh, this. Mm-hmm. Oh uh, yeah. It's a symbol from a bygone life. Oh. Well, I didn't know if you just got it because you thought it looked cool, because sometimes people just get tattoos because they look cool. It, it huh. has a hidden meaning? Uh, I would say so. Oh. Not many people know what it means. I mean, I, I sure don't. Hmm. You don't? That's probably the best that way. I've never seen one before. Hmm. I mean, I've seen snake tattoos, but I haven't seen one like that. Does it have sentimental value or something? Um. Mm, not really. Okay, if you if you don't want to talk about it, you, you don't gotta. Just, I know that people can use art to express themselves, and especially getting something permanently put on your body, I, I would assume that it would mean a lot to you. Uh, Sarai, why don't you roll me a deception check? <laughs> oh no. Can I bardic inspiration? Well, that? and also, um, I'm technically not lying. Because I said I've never seen one before. That's fair. That is yeah. fair. You did say that you didn't know what it meant, though. Oh, that's yeah. fair. Yeah. That's fair. Okay. Touche. Besides, you're, you're better at deception anyway. That. It's true, but I'm also good. okay. Am I? I'm allowed bardic inspiration for it. Sure, yeah, you can bardic inspiration. So, so what do I get? Uh, you're rolling a deception. Yeah. Oh, but, uh, yeah, a d6. A d6. I add a d6. Cool, 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 cool. You can choose to roll the d6 after. After. You see the roll. Okay. Okay. Well, let's do it. Can't remember if persuasion checks are hit, automatically hidden from you. I'm gonna use that d6, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, 15. 15. A 15. Would that be 13? Uh, It's 11 total plus her D6. Yeah. So 15. Yeah. 15. Uh, okay. Hmm. <sighs> it is in insignia for an organization I used to be a part of. Oh. Used to be. They were... I, the money was good, but I didn't like their practices. So I left. Oh. oh. Stay long enough to have to get the tattoo, though. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, I'm glad that you were able to leave and you don't have to do things that you don't like anymore. Hmm. Thanks. Mm hmm. All right. Well, anyway, mm -hmm. uh, okay. uh, cards. Um, I'm sorry if you felt like I, I forced you into talking about that. I didn't I didn't mean to. I just oh. was pretty. Oh no, it's fine. Hmm. Just haven't gotten around to getting rid of it, I guess. Hmm. I mean, could you maybe like add some stuff to it to like make it look different? Maybe. You have any suggestions? I mean, um, do do you mind if I and I like pull out like a little, a little pen? <laughs> like lean over towards him, like I want to draw on his arm where the tattoo is. Go for it. He he uh, he leans <laughs> forward, just like a drawer. Oh, I think he will be. Um, I'm trying to think what I could do to like change it. I would <laughs> the first thing that like, came to my mind. Mm -hmm. I'd like a really buff arm right there to the snake, and then like add two oh, little yeah. wings, yeah. and then okay. add like a little mm -hmm. angry eyebrows. Uh huh. Add like okay, some fire it. coming out over here. Okay. Oh, did yeah. it? I did it. And then I'm also going to add, like, <laughs> like a little, like, rope of flowers, like, around it. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. What do you think of this, Captain? So it's uh, a rope of flowers around. So where where is this rope of flowers, <laughs> did you say? Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, describe this tattoo. The, or the original tattoo would be the snake with the purse. And yeah. then we, what was the first thing we did? Uh... We put it's wings Trogdor on it. With a, it's we put, yeah. with a yeah. purse and flowers. Yeah, we put arms onto the snake, buff arms <laughs> on the snake. And it then we just put one wings. really buff arm on one side. Yes, and then wings also on the snake, and then fire in the general background of everything, and then a little <laughs> rope of flowers around the fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's beautiful. Incredible. Mm hmm. It no is... one would ever think it had nefarious means from looking at this tattoo. Now that is true. No mm -hmm. one would think that. <laughs> <laughs> I will keep this under consideration. Could you do me a favor and... Mm. Uh, he hands you this little little slip of paper. Draw mm -hmm. it. Just so we <gasps> can course. have it as a reference. Of course. Oh my god, did you like this tattoo? Hell yeah! <laughs> it could also just be... Everybody loves Trogdor. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it might just be being nice. But yeah. yeah, I will gladly draw okay. it. Like, including the original tattoo with the little snake and the little person and everything. Yeah. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. I think on that note, we're going to cut over... Heck yeah. ...to some... Uh, to a private conversation between... Well, I assume a private conversation about to happen... Between Sparrow and Alien Star Whisper. Just laughing as Izzy's been waiting for like weeks to have this conversation. We just <laughs> and we're fucking around, around drawing yeah, on the drawing captain. Drawing fucking Trogdor and shit. And he's just like <laughs> fucking twitching in the corner <laughs> yeah. waiting to have this conversation. I don't know what you mean. This is like the most sweet and D thing that could have happened. <laughs> <laughs> Delaying drama no. fuckery is our entire brand. That's true. Yeah. So, rewind in a couple minutes. <laughs> yes, we are rewinding a several minutes uh, between uh, Sparrow and Aelion. Sparrow, she left you on the uh, on the good night in Colt Cant and then got up into her bed. Yeah, I think he, like, responds in common, blocks it for a second while he realizes that he kind of just subconsciously translated that, and then pulls out his repeater and points it directly at her. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, what the hell, man? Explain to me why I shouldn't put a hole through your fucking head. I, I, explain to me why you should! What the hell? What are you talking about? You just... You just said something to me in a very secret and very specific code. Yeah? So? So the only people who would know that code ain't exactly on my good books. What? Aren't you part of them? 
Okay. Just a... This is not going how I expected. Define them for me real quick. The descendants of Obsidian? Okay, good. Okay, and you are a part of them? Yeah? Aren't you? No! Huh. I was kidnapped by them! Kidnapped by them? Yeah! Are you not- aren't you here to watch me? Kind of. What did they- what did you think you were here to do? I'm just here- they told me to just watch and make sure that you get to your destination. I don't know where that is, but they just told me to do that. They told uh -huh. me to keep you safe. Okay. And what did they tell you to do if I step out of line, for example? I don't know. Deal with you. Make sure you're going to where you need to go. I thought you would just voluntarily do that, though. Fuck no! Do you have any idea what you people have done to me? Literally none. What do you think? What kind of organization do you think you work for? I work for an... Okay. I'm going to explain to you what I think they're doing, all right? All right. I think that they are trying to make magic in the galaxy less prominent than it has become. Why? Why what? Why would anyone want to make magic less prevalent? It powers basically everything. Powers too much. It's made lives miserable throughout the galaxy. How so? Mine, for example. Care to elaborate? Well, if you maybe put the gun down, maybe I could. Mm, I don't feel exactly no. comfortable giving you any more details. That's fair, but counterpoint, I have a gun. Hmm. I could also have a gun. Do you? Do you have it out? Do you think you could get it out before I get a shot off? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. <sighs> I... I come from... Are you familiar with Elven Society? And how they work? Passing familiarity. My old, uh... My old commander... Told me a little about you. Yeah. You know what house your old commander was? Not applicable. Kind of, uh, opted out of that before he could be housed. Hmm. I am also houseless. But, I come a family. I come from. <sighs> I come from the, well, my family was part of the Malafil house. They're all about using high tier magic. When you're born, they assess your level of skill with magic or any other things like that. And... I was deemed talentless in magic. I've got no magic in me. So, when my family found out, they kicked me out. They exiled me. Couldn't stand that one of their own 
couldn't stand the one of their own. Didn't have magic. So they booted me from the Empire. I was on my own. That's why I don't like magic. My heart bleeds for you. Yeah. So you joined a murderous cult? That's supposed to be a better option? What the hell are you talking about murderous? Are you fucking serious? You really don't know anything about who you got and do you? No! I don't! These fucking descendants of Obsidian, they murdered all of my friends, everyone I ever considered family. Right in front of me. This godforsaken thing in my spine. What? That... What did they put in your spine? Jesus Christ. Who? I... I don't know. Some... Terran deity, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, son above, is that better? Uh, I don't want to understand more. Eh, cool. Uh, yeah. You bastards ambushed my squad on the way back from a mission and went through us one by one, testing to see if we were compatible with this whatever it is. And I guess I was the only one who was because it killed everyone else. Hmm. They didn't seem to care much about that. They just wanted to keep me locked up and run their tests. Oh. And you're sure there was the descendants? Pretty sure, yeah. But how do you know it was them? Could have been some other fucked up organization in the galaxy. Son of Puff knows there's plenty of them. Well, I mean, aside from the from the fact that they, uh, you know, identified as such, um, people who got me don't seem very, uh, very happy with magic either. Or at least it doesn't seem too popular from what I've seen. A lot, of, a lot more cybernetic augmentation seems to be more their bag. So, yeah. I don't know, at least from a cursory glance, ideologies seem uh, pretty similar. Oh. Um. Okay. That's... That's terrible. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Could I see it? Do I want to expose my back to the enemy? No. No, you cannot see it. Hmm. I just want to know what you guys are planning. I... Why? I can't Why do you help. need me? I can't help you in that department, man. I... They didn't tell me anything. They just told me to... get you to where you need to go. Gonna insight check that. Sure, go ahead. Thank God I was thinking it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell one way or another. He's, he's really frustrated. He's just kind of like pistol whips the fucking bed frame. Go on. <laughs> God damn it. It's like, I guess that makes sense. It'd be way too big a liability. Hmm. 
Yeah. She's just staying silent while you have your little uh, little think on that. Fair. Yeah. Okay. So they didn't tell you anything useful. You just know you're supposed to keep me safe until we get where we're going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you claim that you had no idea they were up to this kind of fucked up shit? Yep. Is that, uh, I don't know, move the needle any for you? Well, I feel for you. That's, that's not great. I still believe in the initial pitch. I do think magic is ruining lives. But more so than the descendants are ruining lives. Yeah, that's the thing. I have never heard I never heard anything about that. I was I joined the coalition and through there they that's where they contacted me. But they didn't they didn't lead with that. I suppose that makes sense. That'd be a pretty uh that'd be a pretty tough uh, sell otherwise. Yeah. I I feel for you. Uh-huh. So, where does that leave us? You're the one with the gun. Very true. What are you planning to do? Well, I don't think this changes much in terms of me keeping you safe. This, uh -huh. but the context changed, I think. And that, uh, at what point will things change? Suppose your orders come in. What, what line? Are you willing to cross? Um, she, she kind of curls up like her. She brings her knees to her chest. She's sort of staring at the wall. Like she's thinking. I don't know. I don't want to kill any innocent people. Good start. But I just want to make it very clear that siding with the descendants and killing a lot of innocent people those are um, well, they're basically the same thing. Hmm. Right. Look, you seem to have been sold the bill of goods, and I'm sorry for that, I guess. I know it ain't easy being an unhoused elf. Or being on the outs with your family. But that can't be an excuse to help these people with whatever 
horrible scheme they're concocting. Even if they're, even if their mission actually is to make magic less prevalent in the verse, they only want that so they can replace it with something they control. They just want to be the one pulling the strings. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Uh. Could you roll me a persuasion check? Sure. Do do it with advantage. All right. Oh my god, 21, not 20. Good fucking Let's job. Let's go, boy. <laughs> <sighs> you might be right. Look, you probably are. I, like I said, they didn't, they didn't tell me any of that. And I don't want to hurt anybody who doesn't deserve it. If they're as bad as you say, I don't know how kindly they'll take to me leaving. Or how kindly they'll take to you not doing what you, what they told you to do. Yeah, yeah, they, uh, they ain't gonna like that. They've yeah. made it abundantly clear who's gonna pay the bill if I don't cooperate. And I imagine that it's probably pretty similar for you. <sighs> yeah, I guess. I don't know who they'd get from me. I don't really have any close ties to anybody. Uh, they might just go after your family regardless. Yeah. <laughs> Won't work as well. I don't really care for them. They don't care for me. Yeah, feel that. Hmm. Shitty family, too? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know a lot of tabaxi? Not particularly, no. Well, in my brief experience, um, most of them either really love or really hate the sun above. Oh. Right, because yeah. you guys were... You guys were brought up by the Avia Ra, right? Yeah, I think about probably close to a century now. Yeah, you're pretty we, new. Uh, you guys are pretty new. Yeah, they jumped us ahead probably a thousand years, technologically speaking. And uh, yeah, that had a big impact on our culture. Mm. I'm, didn't help that their main interest in uplifting us was just foot soldiers that they could throw at the, the, the well, the elves, actually. Mm -hmm. I don't really care. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, long story short, my family falls into the, uh, more religious category. Ah. Yeah. Zealot types, huh? Yeah, a little, a little bit, a little bit. Hmm. So, um, yeah, all that to say I don't really fit in with my family either. Yeah. <sighs> okay. So, that sucks. I assume you don't want anything bad to happen to them, though, right? Yeah, define bad. Death? Okay, yeah, no, I don't want them to die. Yeah. Want them to be, like, inconvenienced. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun. Oh, I yeah, get that feeling. Be... Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> but no. 
they'd have no way of defending themselves if the descendants came after them and as much as they piss me off i don't want them to die horribly yeah bleeding hot that i am <laughs> i can tell <laughs> so i guess the mission doesn't change The context does. What do you think? I think... I'm gonna do one more insight check. Go for it. <laughs> check the vibes. Go for it. Are you, are you looking for anything in particular? I'm basically just trying to like find anything that would confirm like no no you're playing me you're you're just another fucking insidious cultist who's trying to get in with my good graces like making give me like a sob story I'm trying to find mm -hmm. any sign that like this is just another bit of bullshit gotcha you you get the feeling that she is being genuine she's not you you get the feeling she's not used to opening up about anything regardless like especially like her own personal story but she seems to be connecting with you and telling you the truth uh, and yeah <laughs> so yeah she I was thinking like yeah. Damn it, I relate to you too much and it's pissing me off. Yeah. No, she she was fully like you get the feeling like she was fully tricked. Like they they gave her a fucking they gave her a speech of like, you know. Yeah, join join the the descendants the descendants of Obsidian. We are only trying to help the galaxy kind of thing. Yeah, which is absolutely believable. Yeah. She was you you fully believe her when she said she was burned. She was burned hard, and she wants to make sure nothing like what happened to her happens to get to anybody else. Fuck yeah. Sparrow is seeing way too much of himself in her mm -hmm. too, for, for comfort. Yeah. <sighs> I think he just gives a big sigh and just casually turns on the safety on his repeater and just tosses it onto the bed. <sighs> she breathes a sigh of relief, like seeing that the gun is not pointed at her anymore. <sighs> okay. I'm sorry for what happened to you and your team. I'm sorry you got played. Yeah. I'm getting real sick and tired of that. Yo, I feel that in yeah. a big way. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So. You want to help me burn these guys to the ground? <laughs> I'll think on that. I'll see how involved I want to be after this, you know? Suppose that's fair. Just, uh... But yeah. You... I guess I'd prefer if you were at least out of the line of fire when I... go after him. You do have my word that I will keep you safe though, to the best of my ability. Assuming that's the truth, I, uh, <clears throat> I, I appreciate it. She jumps off the top bunk, approaches you, and she'll hold out her hand for a, in a handshake gesture. 
kind of eye it warily for a second, and then he will take, he'll take her hand. Um, uh, A. Leon, Star Whisper, is my name, and it's real. Good to, good to know. Uh, um, my name's real, too. Yeah, you know, just in case you were wondering. Yeah. Sparrow on the wind of the Boreal Valley. It's long. It's very long. It's very... Filling out paperwork is such a pain in the ass. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Yeah, but... But... but you can call me Sparrow. All right, Sparrow. I'll, uh... I'll see you around, then. Hmm? Guess, uh... Guess you will. And Keep she... Keep my eye on you. Hmm. But you seem all right. Great. Oh, uh, one more thing. Yeah? If you ever hack my data pad again... I will shoot you through the throat. <laughs> oh shit! You, you, you noticed that, huh? <sighs> yeah, you gave yourself away when you said you were uh, enjoy your game. Ah, uh, yeah, I did do that, huh? Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. But like, no, like traces on the data pad itself. I didn't leave like a trail. I'd rather not answer that. Smart. Smart. Keeping some cards close to the chest. I respect it. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to up my game. Hmm. She will retreat back into the top bunk of uh the bed. Alright. Good night. And, uh... <laughs> she Good says night. she says that in common. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep tight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can't remember if we decided on bunks but I'll go over to this oh. one where I can clearly see her oh uh, as you do uh, as you're about to get into the bunk uh, Pursuer we'll say at this time you uh, <laughs> you, you show up into the <laughs> uh, in the in the room here and looking you're both for on the top bunk glaring at each other he walks in like huh <laughs> <laughs> yeah so Pursuer just walks in uh, a sparrow. Can uh, can I can I talk to you? Uh, uh outside. It's like, oh, uh, sure, sir. You uh, sound a little disturbed. Everything okay uh, out there? Mmm, possible fly in the fly in the ointment. Just you know, uh, it just it, we just need to talk something over quick. You. Fly in the ointment. It's an old Terran saying. <laughs> he oh. holds up a thing of ointment. <laughs> <laughs> Sparrow, there's a fly in my ointment. <laughs> Help! <laughs> it's like a kind of like look for a uh, from pursuer to, to aliens. Like a okay, I guess I'll, uh, I'll be right back. Stay Hop safe. Down. Yes, uh, that's the goal. Go to sleep, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, she's got into her bunk bed and then well, pulled out her data pad. <laughs> she's playing her game oh, again. Oh, <laughs> I vibe with this bitch so much. I was about to say, that sounds familiar, don't it? <laughs> she's like, oh, it's 5 a.m. It's 5 a.m. <laughs> oh, 5 a.m. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, close um, the door behind me. Alright, what, what's up? Okay, uh, so, potentially real bad news. Uh-oh. Hey. Uh, what? The captain has... Sorry, I'm closing doors. What was that door? I'm closing. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. shit, what was that? <laughs> yeah, right, like, well, make, make sure ain't nobody listening. I'm like, shit. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, the captain has a sable tattoo. 
fucking eyes go wide. Like, oh, it's not as if I didn't have enough to fucking worry about. What? Yeah, I um, I didn't, I didn't call him on it, but I spotted it. Made sure to come right quick to you, cause uh, and I figure. I figure you're about the only one I can trust on this ship that isn't also Pop Sable, what with, you know, shared bounty. Yeah, yeah, we are kind of are on this shit list. Oh, god damn it. Okay, okay, um, thinking through this. Oh, no. Oh, do you think what? that's why that guy in the shipping dock was eyeing us up? Oh no! But... Shit, he could. Is be... this a sable ship? Is oh this... my god! Did we just walk into a trap? <laughs> the captain might be running jobs for sable. Oh shit! Okay, yeah, this is bad. This is really, really bad. I, I, hmm. But I mean, there aren't that many people on this ship. I mean, like. You don't think the Nautiloid is part of Sable, do you? I mean, it would be an unlikely but not impossible addition to the membership. Huh. Be hard to check him for a tattoo. <laughs> Indeed. Ah, crap. Okay. Um, I guess try not to let on that we know anything about it. And just keep an eye on him. He's already kind of doing that, you know, just because of everything. But I guess I'll keep two eyes on him. <laughs> just make sure, make sure you don't go to bed until I'm in the room as well. There's at least benefit of being a vect when I'm powering down and recharging. I stay alert. I stay awake. So I can I can at least keep an eye out for any midnight assassins. All right, good, good. It's very, very good. Okay, we can we can make sure that someone is essentially always on watch. Okay. All right. Um. On that note, uh, also got some troubling and then more just confusing news in the last couple minutes. What? What's more troubling than the fact that we're trapped on a ship with a man that may be wanting to collect a bounty on our heads? Right. Um, I like lean in. Yeah, Star Whisper. Yeah, she's a... Uh, she's a member of the Descendants. Yeah. Oh, so fat. Are you... Is there anyone on this ship... Other than myself that doesn't want to shoot you? I mean, goddamn. <laughs> I mean, about that, it kind of seems like maybe she doesn't. I thought the descendants were bad. They are bad, but I think... I think they're taking her for a ride. She's, she seems low down the totem pole, and I don't think they really told her much about the extent of their plans. She just thinks that they're trying to, I don't know, make magic less prevalent, give it less of a stranglehold on the galaxy. And given, you know, the whole housing process with elves, it's an understandable uh, stance to take, if you don't know, you know, how fucking evil that organization actually is. But long story short, I think, I think, keep an eye on her, but I think we can maybe work with her. Hello? Hello, Mac, are you there? news it shut him down oh no oh, oh no. i can't handle it 
He went into sleep mode. Oh, God. Oh, Mac, no. no. We need to charge him. <laughs> Is there like a wall outlet or something? Oh, Just God. Just looking around the hallway for a wall outlet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay. Well, there you are. There he is. Uh, uh, did you uh, miss anything I was saying? Or like, did it cut out for you? It uh, it cut out while you were like mid explanation about like, I don't think she's like all that bad. Oh, yeah. Okay. So friggin uh, long story short, she, uh, yeah, she, he, he, he was just telling you that, uh, yeah, she she doesn't really know what the descendants are up to. Had no idea that they were doing such heinous shit, and uh, just knows about them wanting to make magic less prevalent in the galaxy. And Sparrow was saying, like, given you know what elves go through with the whole like housing process, it's an understandable stance to have. But he thinks that they can potentially work together. But, like, still, you know, keep an eye on her. Okay. That's... I mean, I, I, I guess that's good. Yeah, I mean, certainly better than, you know, like a dyed-in-the-wall fucking cultist, I guess. There's a real mis... If that is, if that is true, I will say... That is quite the miscalculation on their part to not just, you know, send in a, a full true believer. Uh, yeah, but there's a lot of ways things like this could go. I mean, if they sent someone like that, they would probably know a whole lot more than the basics. At which point, it would be heavily, it would be very possible that they'd be completely outnumbered by all of us. If I were to, you know, get allies. And we could then pump them for information. So, on a cert from a certain angle, I guess it makes sense to send in someone who doesn't really know anything. And who I might be hesitant to just kill. Yeah. I There's no chance the Descendants and Sable are working together, right? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, I can't rule it out. They don't really seem to have any overlap, but you never know. Um, the Descendants might have plans that the Sable kind of factors into unknowingly, maybe, but I don't know. I, we'd have to learn a lot more. Okay. What? A lot of moving targets to keep our eyes on. Indeed, indeed. What's uh what's your read on our two new friends? You know, Hump Grinder and uh, Hemp Hill. Oh, I mean The little one's definitely hiding something, but uh I don't know. They uh they seem to be on the up and up with everything they're saying publicly, eh? Yeah, and again, I mean... again, I was thinking, you know, thinking more of the same of uh, Captain, and then, you know, table tattoo just kind of sucker punched me. Yeah. It's hard to know which way is up. But they do... I don't know. I, they seem like they're on the level, but I've, I've been burned before. But also, also, I don't know. They seem too weird to be cultists, you know. Like I feel like. I feel like that's the level of weirdness that can only be genuine, if that makes sense. That's, that's, well, I'll, I'll give you this, Sparrow. That's, uh, that is the first I've ever heard that phrase. Yeah. <laughs> too, too weird to be in a cult. <laughs> yeah. 
I know, like, saying it out loud, it doesn't make sense. But, like, and I don't know, I don't know. It feels right somehow. Like, they just don't seem like the type that the Descendants would tolerate. I feel like, I don't know, they seem too good somehow, too saccharine. I feel, I feel like they wouldn't tolerate that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then again... Ah, uh, fuck. Okay, don't... Don't judge me too harshly for this, okay? Okay. Uh. I did some investigating into the others. And, um, I may have gone through their bags to see if they were who they said they were, if they knew anything, you know, just covering my bases. I mean, reconnaissance is most prudent. Uh, I don't, I don't see a problem with that. All right, cool, cool. Um, pull up my data pad and I pull out the, uh, the photo I took of the photo of uh, that Bobin had with mm -hmm. the, the ruffian and like the goblinoid. Yep. And uh, yeah. I'm assuming Pursuer would know what a Raytheon is. A, Roth, uh, a Rothian? Yes. Rothian? Yeah. So Bas Basically yeah. everyone knows what they are. It's like you've been around for a very long time. You, there's no way you wouldn't yeah. have heard of them. So yeah, the the lenses in like the you know and servos in the eyes just like dilate wide open when he sees the thing. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I'm sorry, is that what? Sure looks like it. The man keeps interesting company. Okay. Oh boy. I might be getting uh, too old for this bounty hunting business. This is, uh, this ship is full of twists and turns. I, I also found the pilot's, li pi well, two pilot's licenses. One from a Mars station and one for the War Horde. Oh. Um. That's less surprising. This, I, what is, you know. Oh, what was that? Just, just monitoring to myself. I, I, I don't know what to make of this crew we're with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me neither. Got a lot of, uh, Eccentric types, to be sure. Mm, eccentric. That's a that's a real diplomatic way of putting it. <laughs> yeah. A lot nicer than fucking weirdos. Impossible cutthroats. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah, just because he was in the war doesn't necessarily mean anything. We've all got our pasts. And mm -hmm. yeah, it's it is what it is. He, he he seems like a nice enough guy. Who knows why he left or why he was in it in the first place? Ah, <sighs> but as long as it's not a, an imminent threat, then I, that's his business, I guess. The Rothian, though, is a concern to me. Like, they just they just kind of sweep frontier, frontier towns clean. They just kidnap everybody and take them off who knows where. So why is he still here? I mean... I, I, I guess I have heard stories that sometimes Rothians separate themselves from the Hive for 
you know, various reasons. He could be one of those, not actively part of their, you know, gathering operation. Makes more sense than the alternative. Yeah, it would be a little odd. This seems way too jovial to be, you know, one of the hive. I've I've never even heard of one of them smiling, let alone seeing it. This is this is the scariest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, it's a little unsettling, I grant you that. This kind of just follows you around the room, like tilting the data pad back and forth. It's like the Mona Lisa. Just <laughs> <laughs> Staring you, at my soul. Can you, can you just take that off the screen? I just... Yeah, um, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Putting that away. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. God. I don't, I don't know what the vect equivalent to goose pimples is, but I, I, I got them. I got some. Oh God. Oh. That's an interesting question. Yeah. What would, what would you call that? What's a goose? <laughs> Space goose. Space. Oh, okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That makes sense. Space goose pimples. <laughs> that sounds like a horrible disease. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's because it's got chicken pox vibes. <laughs> like, it does, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. probably the association. <sighs> all right, well, that's that's all I got. Um, What the, what have you guys been doing out there? Just chilling? Uh... I was going to show him a movie, but the uh, captain interrupted for a little gambling. And, uh, uh, Bobin started taking uh, uh, the captain for, uh, for all the money that he couldn't be paying. It's, it was weird. Soraya basically was paying for both of us, and so we stopped putting in the money in the pot. It stopped being about money because no one else had money except two of them. Like, clearly the captain was hoping for a little bit more uh, in his pocket at the end of the night and uh, was not going that way. It is a very strange way to gamble. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Well, especially when you're losing. Indeed. <clears throat> All right. Um. Sorry, ignore that. <laughs> Never! <laughs> Uh, yeah. I, th I, th I think I think I might just turn in. It's been right, a long well. couple of days, and uh, I still got some wounds that need to heal up. Okay, well then I I'll turn in with you, cause like I said, I mean we don't we don't know what's going on in this ship, and if there's anyone even tangentially related to Sable, then we're going to need to watch each other's backs. Indeed. If that dock worker really was from Sable, too, he's probably told the whole operation by now. Uh, we're going to need to be even more on guard for enemy attacks. I, I could deal with I could deal with being on guard for attacks outside the ship. I just I don't I don't care for the idea of being attacked on board the ship. Yeah, and definitely not at the same time. Oh uh, boy. Well, we'll we'll just take it as it comes. We'll uh, just right. try to be as prepared as we can. Um, I, uh, uh, no, I'll think on that some more. Um, yeah, let's, let's call it a night. I could use a power up and you, uh, you definitely look like a sleepy little tabaxi. Yeah, it's, uh, oh my goodness, I am worn out. I think the adrenaline is starting to wear off. 
Busy, crazy, weird day. Yeah. Well, have a good night, sir. Night, Sparrow. <laughs> they both, uh, both head off. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, the other two, Soraya and Bobin. Uh, yeah. Do you guys do anything specific with your with the rest of your with the rest of your days? Um, the, I'm the tattoo. The tattoo yeah. sketching has extended beyond the scrap of paper, and Bobin is now <laughs> leaning over so Soraya can tattoo his shoulder with the pen. <laughs> Perfect. Yep, it's happening. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start with a cupcake. Yeah. Solid, solid dog. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and you seem to like fi the fire design for the captain, cool. so I'm gonna come mm -hmm. in fire. Yeah. yeah. That makes it faster. Yep. <laughs> yep. General that. <laughs> the captain's <laughs> still here. He... I'm sure he would have gotten sick of our shit. <laughs> he would have probably wandered off uh, if oh, you guys yes. weren't uh, weren't gonna play anymore. He would have wandered off. Yeah, probably. I mean, yeah, we probably. Got distracted yeah. With this now. yeah, we got distracted with this. He's like, night, mm -hmm. Captain. Good night. Good night. He goes to the wall. Uh, <laughs> he laser, goes into his room. Like a laser show coming out from the fire. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, other than that, do that until bedtime. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, great. We'll go ahead and uh, say that you guys do that for a little bit, then head to bed. Okay. All right. Is there anything anyone specifically wants to do before everyone gets their long rest in? Um. I just want to uh, make a note that uh, Sparrow is sleeping with his repeater under his pillow. Great. Oh. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> and and Pursuer is, quote unquote, you know, sleeping, you know, as close as it is with Vect, mm -hmm. with the <laughs> with his repeater in hand. <laughs> gotcha. All right. That sounds that sounds good to me. <laughs> Everyone's sleeping with a gun, except for Soraya and Bobin, I assume. Oh, I'm going. I want to yeah. go. Oh. Uh, I'm going with Soraya, I assume. I want to pick out our yeah. bunks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. So I, don't, I, don't know I can just click. I'll, I'll click yeah. and drag yeah. you guys there. Yeah, it'll be easier than you just going Fine. all the way there. <laughs> I did call. I did call top bunk the first day we got yes. here. So. <laughs> Brew. Okay, right. so she's over there. Uh, has anyone else claimed any other bunks in here? Uh, seems like Sparrow and Pursuer are in the uh, the bottom right bunk beds. Uh, Alien is our, yeah, our Aelion? doctor and our Nautilid boy. Like where yeah. They yeah, yeah. The Nautilid sleeps in the suit. Yeah, the Nautilid, Nautilid yeah. sleeps wherever. Yeah. Uh, we'll say Galanel. Drag him over here. Uh, he would have gone with you guys as well. Just as you guys get ready for bed. And he gestures to you guys like, uh, you guys can get first pick. I'll just take whatever uh, bunk left. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Everybody's sleeping. We should try to be quiet. Oh, yeah. Sure. Uh, this one goes as closest. We're... Oh, okay. All right. Top bunk. Fantastic. Galanel will take this. Over here. I would in the top afraid of the, bottom of the bunk. bunk. Losing stability for me anyway. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> okay. So, assuming your business is all done for the day, correct? I think so. Yeah. I think so. I think so. I, I'd probably like, do the same, like mess around on my data pad and then go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Everyone, uh, why don't you go ahead and long rest yourselves? Oh, thank God. This has been the longest <laughs> day ever. Soraya. <laughs> yeah? Remember. Uh, oh, I get one less. You have one less energy, di energy Bobin, die for right? the day because of yeah. healing Bobin. That's such, it was so long ago, man. <laughs> so long ago. <laughs> yeah. Years ago. Mm-hmm. Sure was, man. But yeah. Everyone go ahead and take a, a long rest, not a short rest. 
Yeah. Oh, did I take a short one? Oh, I did. Sorry. You did. Whoops. Yeah. Whoopsie doopsie. Do a long Whoopsie one. doopsie. Uh -huh. Did it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another bit of one of these. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Remember, Carrie. But, yeah. Uh, with your psionic energy die ability, you can mm -hmm. use. Uh, you can use a bonus action to regain one of your expended uh, psionic energy die. Right. Right, 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 right. So can I just do that now? Or does it have to You could if you want. I, I'll do it now. So I just have them. So I'm yeah. totally topped up. Hell mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. And that... Sick. I believe... Let's see. How often can you do that? You can regain one expended psionic energy die, energy die, but you can't do so again until you finish a short or long rest. So, yeah. Not too bad. Hell yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Cool, cool, cool. Short rest is pretty fucking sick. Like, hell yeah. Fantastic. All right. So, you guys finished taking your long rest. Um, Is there anything I want to do to you guys as you long rest? Oh, no. Dear God. <laughs> <laughs> um, Soraya... Yeah. As you dream, you dream Ooh. of that vision that you had before. Is it is it the same, or can I make more things out? Why don't you roll me a perception check to see if you can uh, make more things out? Okay. This time you are able to make a couple more things out. Okay. The voice that you heard, you are able to place. It is Captain Steele's voice. Okay, cool. You are on a planet. On a planet, okay. Whoa. You find that the, the ground beneath where you are pinned underneath the debris is grass-like. It's green. It's, like I said, grass-like soil beneath. Mm -hmm. So, very Earth-like. Okay. And that's probably as much as you get in no, terms of, new. of the new details. Yeah. Okay, okay. Nothing, no, like, other voices or any other details other than the definitely Captain's voice and uh, mm -hmm. we're on a planet and it's grass. Correct. Okay. Cool. Yeah, sick. Mm-hmm. There you go. After that, Heck yeah. you wake up. Huh. Gotta get rid of your bardic inspiration thing there. Yeah, you... <laughs> yeah. Is there anything you guys do as you wake up, or do we move on with the, like, the day? Think of anything? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would check mm -hmm. with Soraya if we want to make breakfast for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I would love to make breakfast for everyone. <laughs> Heck yeah, you guys are in for a treat. This is gonna be so good. <gasps> um, mm -hmm. I mean, but when you could you can help me if you want. Sure, uh <laughs> I'll totally okay. help. Okay. Okay. I'll try not to hold you back. <laughs> okay. As as soon as Bobin is like joining in on helping the food, Pursuer just thinks about the pork rinds and thinks, I'm certainly glad I do not partake in sustenance. <laughs> you lucky bastard. <laughs> oh, I uh, promised you'd never had breakfast like this, you guys. That's very <laughs> true. I 100% believe you. Oh, uh, what They're so tell? excited to eat our breakfast. I'm so excited. <laughs> One detail you want to notice, uh, Aelion is not in her bed when you guys wake up. Oh, did she fall out? Don't Back have done that, sure poor girl. Roll under there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Priscilla, did you see when she woke up? Yeah, I would, I would have been. Oh yeah, you would have, um, it wasn't that long ago before you, uh, before, uh, she would have woken up. She would have dragged herself out of bed. And groggily walked through the door, like maybe okay. thirty minutes to an hour ago. Mm. Pro actually, she, uh... closer to closer to thirty minutes ago. 
She, uh, she only stepped out about 30 minutes ago. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I can, are we, are we still in the bedroom or have we like moved to like the kitchen? You can move area? wherever you want. You can Set be wherever you want. <laughs> okay. Probably gonna move to the kitchen areas. Anyone yeah. else in there apart from like our group? Uh, Aelion would be. Okay, then. As I'm you walk in. Not gonna bring anything up. Okay. As you would have walked in, she would have been like, she would have been sitting at the little, little table. Uh, I'm gonna actually get a dragger over there. Um, I'm gonna move me. I'll move you too. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I'm back. Uh, she, uh, she's sitting over there. She's just head on the table, tired as all hell, and there's a mug uh, on the table next to her that says, "Don't talk to me until I've drunk in my space coffee." Of course, <laughs> there is. <laughs> <laughs> and she uh, she looks her. tired as hell <laughs> say again chase don't space talk to space to me until i've space had my space coffee <laughs> yeah. hell yeah <laughs> amazing all right cool cool and spencer what trek do we make to cooking <laughs> Very good question. Carrie, do you have cooking utensil proficiency? I don't think that I do. Fantastic. I don't think I even have oh, cooking no. utensils. You don't. We got some here. I mean, yeah. the cooking yeah. utensils They're are around. the kitchen. So you, those are okay. for like when you're out in the wild, like out in yeah. the wilds and whatnot and you want to cook stuff. Uh, yeah. Why don't you roll me a... Hmm. What are you trying to make? Right? You're trying to make breakfast for everyone. Yeah, general breakfast. Okay. Like, yeah. Like Bunch space of space eggs, yeah. space bacon, mm -hmm. space toast, space, space toast, obviously. Yeah. Eggs, yeah. Eggs, yeah. Space. Some eggs, some toast, some speed. Oh, <laughs> <can't wait. laughs> uh, why don't you roll me a, a dexterity check? Sure. Oh, she's gotta be fast. Uh, can I help and also bardic inspiration? Oh. So advantage and inspiration and bardic inspiration on that. Sure. Wow. Oh my god. Less oh, oh my god. Oh. Look at you. Look at you being good at stuff. How about how about how about I say? Twenty. Nice. Didn't even need the farting. Very Should nice. Should I bardic it just to make it disgusting, James? Sure. <laughs> have it for later. More, you have it for ten more minutes at least. Yeah, that's fair. Us. Yeah, let's make it incredible. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Get him with it. Get him with it. Hell yeah, 23 total. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Awesome. That's a cooked breakfast. You make a very, very good mm -hmm. breakfast. It looks and smells amazing. Oh my gosh. It does. Look at it go. <laughs> Do you want to serve it, sir? Why, yes, I think I would, madam. <laughs> <laughs> Find like a towel that winds up being comically small to drape over my forearm to look like a <laughs> butler and bring a big tray of stuff over to the table. Mm -hmm. Peeps of many varieties, here is your space breakfast a la Soraya. So and Bobin! Slightly Bobin. No, Bobin was mostly a minor involvement in that one it was, it was very stuff. helpful I, I stood there i did stuff he handed me things it was, it was very cool. look at how delicious it is everybody everybody no. have to get stuck in do it behold the spags and the spost <laughs> and the spiking set it in front um. of alien she's like Argh. Everyone's so apprehensive to eat this fucking bread. No, she's just tired. Alien just can't function. She's tired. She That's can't fair. function currently. That's fair. <laughs> does she have coffee in her coffee mug? She does. Yeah. Okay. okay I was going to offer to get her some, but if she's got it, she's good. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. She... I'm gonna like. Do we have coffee like here? I'm assuming so, because she has. Yes. Cup, right. Absolutely. I'm going to make her a second cup. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She you go. drags herself off of the table 
uh, like her head is just, she picks up, she grabs the back of her head with her hand and then just lifts it up. <laughs> oh, honey. Okay. Here we go. It'll be okay. I got okay. you a second cup of coffee. You can do this. You oh, got this. Thank you so much. <laughs> and she. Did you care for some spags? <laughs> what? <laughs> do you want some spags with your spaffy? <laughs> I'll have some eggs with my coffee. Thanks. Cool. Oh, she's got a weird too. nickname for them, I guess. <laughs> Maybe it's like a dialogue Never heard thing. him called that. <laughs> <laughs> she, she takes the food and uh, drinks the coffee. <laughs> Might I ask what manner of creature laid these eggs? That's you a may. very good question. I just, I found them in, in, in the fridge. <laughs> you may ask. I may <laughs> or may not answer. <laughs> well, I am I asking. Know. Do okay, you I answer? don't know. I mean, that's the captain. I, I just made the spikes. Yeah. Hello, I am captain. here. <laughs> captain? He, he, he smelled that coffee. He came <laughs> running. <laughs> now, he smelled my good fucking breakfast, bitch. <laughs> like, I mm -hmm. smelled someone roasting beans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows captains love beans. <laughs> it's true. It's true. We're all bean boys in space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't Sparrow? function without them good, good beans. Sparrow, you had a question for the captain? Yeah, um, the eggs in the fridge, what laid them? Uh, Cray, I think they were Cray Terra? Cray Terra eggs. Mm hmm. All right. Spencer, is that a normal thing? Why don't you roll me a nature check? <laughs> sure. Oh, no. Uh, I mean, they were in a kitchen, so. What'd you get, Izzy? Got a 10 total. A 10? Sounds pretty normal. Like, in this space universe... What is the equivalent of a chicken egg? <laughs> it's not it's not that. <laughs> it's not that. Okay. So but. it's at least not a chicken egg. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, okay, but I probably made like scrambled, so it'd be difficult for you to tell. You just know these aren't common eggs. Mm -hmm. Just what the, fuck what with color, sparrows specifically and hard boil them still in shell. <laughs> <laughs> what color are they? Yeah. They are, they are yellow, but slightly different tint. Ah, uh, like radioactive mm. yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly that, but you know. You don't know how I cook. <laughs> like radioactive yellow. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uranium. <laughs> well, right. Full of radioactive goodness. Mm-mm-mm. -hmm, mm -hmm. A balanced diet. Start your morning with spikes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like on the one hand, this could be poison. On the other hand, it's probably ch chances are it'll taste better than whatever the fabricator would spit out. Just doing the fucking calculus on this as he snares at the eggs. While fucking Sarai and Bobin are happily eating. <laughs> <laughs> Bobin probably. I assume he's done this before, but he might he might just have this. He might have to make it every so often. I assume Bobin would have like nearly powderized some of these Uncle Borkies and has them in sense. like a fucking shaker to like add on as like a fucking like salt. A seasoning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> some jerky seasoning on there. Uh Incredible. sure. <laughs> cool. Perfect. Sparrow reaches for some, just thinking it's pepper, and puts it on. <laughs> oh! oh no! <laughs> Bowen is fucking grinning from ear to ear. Oh! <laughs> Finally, someone to 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 imbibe orcish culture with him. Oh! He takes bite, Surely he will knowing. love this. Hey, Sparrow. Yeah. Can you roll me con save? 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> no. He's going to blame my delicious food on this. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. That was so close. To, it was dancing on the floor. Yeah, Never mind. Oh, mm. bitch. It's delicious. Oh. Huh. This is awakening something in That's me. That's actually not bad. I told you. See, we are amazing chefs, Bowman. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. True. High five. <gasps> oh. <laughs> well, uh, I, I am sorry I doubted you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, it's good because now you won't do it again in the future. Um, I, I mean, I guess not. Sure beats the <laughs> heck out of marbles. A Leon will also grab what she thinks is pepper. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Takes a bite. Nat twenty, baby. I'm gonna have She's a roll already having a rough save. morning, girl. <laughs> she just shrivels up like a race. <laughs> no. You know what, Chase? I need you to do yeah. me a favor and no. tell me <laughs> what you think the DC would be for a non-war horde person to right. uh if they were to eat this what would the dc oh, be I, I don't think it would be crazy high because it is digestible by yeah. other species as well it's just not very good it's not uh I'd it say has the potential like to make others sick <laughs> well I'd 12? say like a 12. Like if you if you just kind of come at it the wrong way, it can really get you. But for the All most right. part, you should be able to handle it. Okay. Thank you. I, uh, She eats it, looks over at Soraya. It's really good, thanks. <gasps> You're uh, so welcome. <laughs> Keeps eating. I, um... Just for like, what 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 is this? What what is the like? What what is the coloring of the seasoning? Like, what does it look like? This like pork rind style. It's like, it's the like it's like the color of old dried blood. <laughs> so it comes out kind of brownish, um, oh. like a like a kind of coppery brown. Uh, so close to pepper. So <laughs> like, if you're not looking yep. closely, so close. Enough. Yep. <laughs> Oh, no. But it kind of dances on the air as it comes down. Like it kind of catches the breeze a tiny oh. bit. It oh. doesn't like so, just hit the plate. So yeah, pursuer is going to spot that and be like, "That don't look right." And he's just like, pick up the pepper and check the label. It's like a fucking homemade shaker. It's like a fucking steel <laughs> canister with holes drilled in it. So then, oh, no label on it. <laughs> no label. Uh, Bobin. I hate to ask, what is this? A spice shaker. No, the. I meant the spice within it. It's oh. delicious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Bobin's like. I'll have a little to take your word. <laughs> I'll I'll have to take your word on the taste, but just what is its name? What what is this spice? That's some of my, that's some that's a that's a bobin special. That's uh some of the ground as ground up finely ground freshly ground. Uncle mm. Bobby's old flavored fork rinds. Stop with like a fork right in front of my mouth and I just <laughs> turn. What? You like Uncle Loki's old flavored pork rinds, don't you, Sparrow? <laughs> oh no. Oh god, what have I put in my body? Aelion gets up. I mean, you said it was good. Aelion gets up and runs. Oh no! no. <laughs> and <laughs> she's Why doing. She's off yeah. to tell her friends. The taste of Satan sweeping the nation. I keep telling you, you yeah. really should, like, Patent it, like mm -hmm. mass produce it. You should just call it delicious by Bobin. Mm -hmm, Make mm -hmm. so much money. You hear I'll like a the, door, the a couple of mm -hmm, So mm -hmm. you hear a door, a couple rooms down, opening, close, and then a. <laughs> Is she forcing herself to throw up? Yes. <laughs> Girl, it's not that bad. 
good. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, I feel weird. I feel like I'm sweaty. I'm not you're, supposed to sweat. How am I you're sweating? You're just panicking yourself. You were fine until you figured out what it was. Yeah. Oh, the flakes, I, I feel like the flakes are moving. See, you're look having, at my, a, look at my you're having some kind moving. of psycho mantis attack. <laughs> what the hell is a psycho mantis attack? It's, it's like meow, where it's meow. all in your head. It's all in your head. I'm gonna walk over to him and grab his shoulders and like, you need to calm down. Can't go now. No, I was gonna, I'm grabbing him, but if he doesn't calm down, I am going to slap him. <laughs> You're slapping him. <laughs> you calm down, Sparrow. No, right now I'm just shaking you. I'm just okay. saying in the future I might hit you. Sparrow, you have to calm down. I can't calm down. I have You're fine. A terrible You're fine. poison. I slap him. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Calm down. Down. You are fine. I don't think so. I mean alien. Well, she just panicked and it's she's 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 just panicking. You're fine. <clears throat> you have a stronger stomach than her. Oh, but for how long? How long can I possibly endure? But you're gonna be fine. Right, Bobin? He's gonna be fine. Oh yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be fine. Yeah, yeah you're fine. No, no, you're fine now, you're gonna be fine then, you'll be fine forever, yeah. Yeah. Sewer is going to put a comforting hand on his shoulder and just say, Good luck in the bathroom later. Oh, no. Spencer, have I ingested these pork rinds? I'm assuming I have. I'm assuming I would have tried them. Sure you would have. Yeah, would've, you would have. Yeah. How would I have reacted to them? Uh, You would have reacted fine. Okay. <laughs> I, I had them before and I, I was totally fine. Nothing happened. Eh, yeah, well, maybe that's your Bendu constitution or something. M well, maybe you're different. Maybe. Okay, but are you trying to say that you don't have as strong of a constitution as me? I don't know. I have no means of comparison between Tabaxi and Bendu. You are so strong, Sparrow. You're so strong. Th this is not weirdly fine. flattering, and somehow I hate. I, I don't like it. I don't trust this. Am I dying? Bobby, you're... fucking. I slap him again. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine! <laughs> Alien comes back into the room. I, Did I you tell all your friends how good the, the dust was? No. <laughs> you should call it the dust. The dust. Oh. I gotta make I got some I gotta make so many flavors. I, I gotta like mm -hmm. delicious for one, I gotta call it the flavorizer <laughs> for another, and then the oh. dust trademark. Oh, the one that's like the dust should be like really spicy. Oh, yeah. Uh, Soraya. Uh -huh. Yeah. Did you make enough for leftovers? Yeah, I would imagine okay. so. Yeah. Okay, Alien would have grabbed another plate. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she would have tossed the other plate and then. Moved. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't you don't want to put a little little sprinkle of delicious on there? <laughs> no, I don't. What? A little dash, a little something, something. I don't. I really don't. Oh, that's another flavor, a little something, something. <laughs> Oh, you need. We gotta write these down. Gotta write them down. They're, they're really good. I love Can that you're coming up with a business not. plan that would just. <laughs> I love that you're trying to come up with a business plan that's just. Let's take someone else's product, ground yep. it up, and resell it. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> we know how capitalism works, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Imagining you still have Sparrow by the collar. His head is just lolled back, semi conscious. Yeah. While I'm like, yeah, you call a little sprinkling, a little something, something, <laughs> like while I'm holding you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, you're, you're fine. <laughs> I put you down and then I go and sit back with Bowen. Mm. <laughs> Brought me on the floor. No, I'll put you back in your seat and dust you off. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of wobble back and forth and then face plant into my eggs. <laughs> so, how, 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 everybody, how. everybody has their breakfast. <laughs> All right. Delicious. Good job, everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> after our, after everyone has their breakfast, uh, Steel stands up in front of everybody. And says, "All right, now that everyone is fed, their energy is up. Everyone to your stations. We'll be making a jump soon." Right. Uh, sir, yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Salute. 
fantastic. Aye, aye, Captain. Mm-hmm. Okay. Great. Uh, you guys head towards your torture stations, and I think that is uh that is where we are going to stop this episode. Whoop! Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening to the Sweet and D podcast here. Uh, and we'll we'll catch you next week. Uh. uh Later, dudes. Uh, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, we goodbye. love you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. So, oh. Mac, mm-hmm. I'm going to need you to rejoin Riverside. Oh, no. Oh, no. W- yeah. When did I? Uh, Probably when you when your yeah. internet dropped or something. Oh, shit. God. That, oh. that was mid-conversation, too. Oh, no. oh yeah. man. Okay, while you do that, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick before okay. we have to do anything else. Yep. <laughs> okay. Can you hear me? Do I sound fine? Yeah, it's, you're you're doing you're able to be heard in Riverside. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Uh, by the uh, way, that's Twitch gonna and, mess. Twitch and YouTube chat. We're not done for the day. Uh, we're just ending the podcast episode there. We're not we're not done just yet. Uh, so stick around. We'll be we'll be doing more. It was episode we're five. Just, yep, we're just on break what right now. You? Don't worry about mm. it. Just on break, baby. Get ready for episode six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's gonna mess with the audio for the podcast episode five, huh? Correct. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. So. Ooh. Yeah, that's not gonna be great. Maybe we can grab your audio from. Uh, from the street from the vod yeah it's just i won't be able to super fine tune the editing there huh? yeah yeah that's that's a whole other problem is yeah i i i, I assumed that that was going to be the plan to get my audio but that wasn't going to be a now you know like that's still going to mess with the audio is my point mm-hmm. yeah so it's not not the same as it going through Riverside. Yeah, Ooh. that's a big big yikes, big yikes, big yikes. Oh no, unfortunately, as we keep doing stuff. Oh, all right, I'm gonna be right back. Y'all vamp. Oh, I good luck. In you. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. God damn it! Oh, that was. Eggs. Yeah. Episode five is going to be weird. I'll probably have to put like a disclaimer at the very beginning of the episode. I'm just like, hey, yeah. so our audio kind of fucked up. <laughs> so enjoy, uh, enjoy, enjoy the Twitch VOD, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I mean, do what you can, because at least that a good chunk of that episode will still sound nice and still have mm-hmm. like a lot of stuff that doesn't involve Pursuer. Uh, yes. And even there's even a. There'll still be a fair bit at the beginning with Pursuer that'll be good audio, so it'll just be, it'll 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 be a little bit more editing for you than normal, which is still bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. I didn't even think to check that. Uh, it's okay. It's uh, we'll just try and gotta be more. We know for the future, like to check for that when we're uh, when we're back, uh, when we go back. Like, if yeah. this happens again, like, hey, check Riverside. And you'll... Yep. We'll be good there. Yep. Yep. Learning learning experience. Uh, mm-hmm. It's just... Oof. Oof. Big fucking oofs. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, fucking... <laughs> fucking forgot. Um, uh, you know how when you guys... When there was, like, a little speech bubble above, uh, above Alien's uh, token that one time? Yeah, I figured out what that was and how to do it on purpose. <laughs> oh, what was it? Uh, basically, they're I can link their tokens to certain journal entries in Foundry, and it'll uh when you click on them, when you guys click on them, it will pop up a little speech bubble, uh, of what I what I say to them. Uh, every time. Captain. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the captain's is pretty funny. <laughs> We're all going to die. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, did you see that? Sorry. Gary? What? What? Yeah, I just I fucking scrolled over the captain. The fucking we're all gonna die. God damn. <laughs> yeah. Fuck? What were we saying, Mac? Oh, I was yeah. I was just gonna say I have to, I have to scroll over and what do I click for that? I oh, just click on their token. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. N nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think I made one for uh, Galanel, though. And uh, Aliens is just an ellipsis. <laughs> just feel like, trust me, I'm a doctor. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. Well, here I go. I'm going to change that now. <laughs> Hell yes. Uh, trust me. I be a doctor. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. Use the bathroom while we're on break, real quick. Fine. Be that way. I will. You son of a gun. I'm gonna hurt him. I'm gonna fucking get him. Do it. Fuck him up. No. Uh. Yeah, I'll, I'll also. Uh, yeah, go and go and use uh, that. I'm sorry, I just yeah, I'm so fucking annoyed about the the, the Riverside situation. Yeah. yeah, it's how it be. This this happens, man. I'm, I'm I'm trying to think how you could edit it. I mean, you could. Be, 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 be. I mean, you edit it in Riverside, right? Or do I don't edit it in I take the <gasps> I take the audio, like the audio tracks, and then bring them into audition. Okay, so you could, in theory. Just for like a chunk of it, take the audio from the stream. Like it's it's not gonna sound as good, but yeah. So that it's there. Mm -hmm. It's it's not lost. But yeah. That that sucks. Yep. Yeah. No, I, I know it's not lost. It's just still frustrating. No, it's yeah. very frustrating. Going to, yeah, I get you. It's gonna you know that it's gonna negatively affect the podcast in a way it didn't have to. Yeah. Again, we've noticed, <sighs> and it's just it's just for a little chunk, so it's mm -hmm. it's okay. True. Yeah. Let's make sure uh, to yeah. keep on top of it moving forward. Yep, yep, yep. Exactly. Uh, also, uh, I want to say thank you to Duelist for the $10 donation uh, about two hours ago. Uh, saying, been watching Sweet and D since Avernus, and this is the first one I've managed to catch live. I'm so excited. Oh uh, yeah. I'm so excited to watch your games, and this setting uh, are some of my favorite media to consume. Uh, keep up the great stuff, Aww. you guys. Your content always brightens my day. Smiley face. Thank you. Oh, thank that. you so much. Thank you if you're still oh, in the chat, you. Duelist. Yeah. Thank yep. you for heckin' watching so like much. all of our stuff. We that's really that's so much. long. It's yeah. so long. Yes. Watching for thank so you. long. Thank you. Sorry for the oh. trauma that we gave you and Call. Call was rough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? what yeah. <laughs> Is that the person who was who was tweeting? Oh, maybe. About... Let me double check. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Thank you for that. On that note, be right back. <laughs> Okay, I'll good luck. You oh, back on air. Really appreciate it. Good luck. Uh, the person who tweeted at me was Cody. Uh, okay. Ba Baronoct? Ba Bar Baronoct? I don't know. Oh. But yeah. <laughs> Baron Nefamas. <gasps> Congratulations, exactly. Red, Red Panda Cola. <laughs> they can finally uh they can finally get more than seven megabytes per second for their internet. Uh Jesus fuck. Who knows that life? Ooh, Spencer really knows that life, yeah. Yeah, I do. I for sure do. Oof. That's rough. I I'm so sorry. I'm glad it's I don't live rough. that life anymore, but... Mm -hmm. Ooh, he was rough. Mm -hmm. He was fucking mm -hmm. rough. Mm -hmm. Yikes. Aww. Big bad. <laughs> Nandiane loves Izzy's characters. I also love Izzy's characters. I love all of our hey. characters. Mm -hmm. but, you know. mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, y'all. <laughs> Love play with you guys. It's mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. fun. Ha ha, Sparrow likes us. <laughs> no, no. Sparrow he, he likes Orcish the... cuisine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not mm -hmm. true. 
It's impossible. Oh, he's just a big old softy. Soft feelings, you know it to be true. Choosing to ignore the 300 to 400 negative comments on it and choosing mm -hmm. to really focus in on the one really good comment when you yeah. realize what it was. That's how they do. <laughs> <laughs> They're big I mean, fucking, so you're saying there's a chance, people. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> mm -hmm. Honestly, uh, pretty mentally healthy to really just focus on the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Negative stuff just slides right off. Slides yep. right off there, buddy. I'm sure ignoring it slash repressing it's not going to have fucking consequences later or anything. It's fine. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah they're fine. We oh, don't even <laughs> process that at all. Just disregard no. it. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it. Mm. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. Boy. We're up to date on donations okay. after that, though. Yes. Oh, thank we you. We only got everyone. one donation after You're we so started sweet. streaming. That's all good. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, guys. We appreciate everything. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Such kind fellows. It's true. We're very, very lucky. Mm hmm. True. Mm -hmm. I can't wait oh, to do correct. the the ad read once Matt. Me comes too. Back. Once very Matt excited gets back, we'll do the ad read. read. So yup. Yeah. Do y'all have I the script so. ready to send around? Uh, I have it. Yep. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I have it. I have the copy that I sent for approval on my end. Good. Yes. I also have the the doc in front of me. Yes, I got the doc in front of me. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. And I oh, there we go. Back. Oh, welcome okay. back. There we go. That's who, want, a boy. who wants who wants to link it? <laughs> All right. Don't read ahead. Uh, just consume it as we go through it. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and, and Mackenzie, you do have lines, so be prepared. You do have yeah. lines. We're all, Mac we're all rotating through. We're we're each taking mm -hmm. turns. Okay. On oh. oh boy. Good. I'm all right. Concerned. All right. Let us. Uh, all right. There's no reason to be. You're fine. Let us know when you're all ready to go. Ready. All right. I'm ready. Is there like any uh, kind of more. um we tone we should keep in mind or something? When we. Uh, I, mean, I think no, your tone will be so. pretty apparent once you start yeah, reading. Yeah, I think yeah. I think you'll know. Yeah, it, just, it's an ad. Trust your instincts. It's an ad. Yeah, right, cool. Trust your instincts. Right. You're, you're an actor. You got this. Let it flow. All right. Yeah, we're doing, right. we're doing cold reads. Cold reads out here. Cold <laughs> reads out here. <clears throat> All right. Moses uh, supposes his toes are roses, but Moses supposes <laughs> erroneously. Nice. Beautiful. Hell yeah, we're all warmed up. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. As you may have heard, this episode is brought to you by Mage Hand Press. Very same publishers who published Dark Matter. Which is the setting this game is in. 43 years ago, a piece of me was taken, and I'll never get it back. <laughs> right, Izzy. Dark Matter has tons of cool stuff. Like spaceships. A stacked bestiary. Futuristic weapons. A man with six fingers, three eyes, and an unknowable number of feet will meet his end by my hand. That's right, Izzy. And Max. So go to the link in our description. And buy yourself a copy. Today! Vengeance will be mine, Fernando! That's right, Izzy. Thanks again to our friends at Mage Hand. Press! Get yourself a copy of Dark Matter today and join us in the... Stars! Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Chase, I, I need you put put in the chat the message that you fucking got from me, Chad. <laughs> After you sent this for approval. Oh, got it. Let me grab oh, I got it. Oh. What did they say? They approved this, by the way. They're so fucking cool <laughs> with uh, us. approval, and they approved it. <laughs> Please support Mage and Press. They are so cool. They're, They're so very wonderful, cool. and they have Ooh. such cool shit. Like, all the shit that we listed is genuinely very cool. <laughs> like... So, our, our good buddy uh, from Mage and Press read it and said, absolutely love it. Izzy should see a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> And, and Chase said, responded. <laughs> and I said, no therapist can quench his bloodlust any more than the blood can be washed off of Fernando's six-fingered hands. <laughs> Very true. 
<laughs> oh, so fucking funny. Absolutely Thank you incredible. For that, guys. Mm -hmm. Listen, we messaged Chase being like, we need to get into a call at some point and, and come up with the ad read. And then he was like, what do y'all think of this? And we were like, perfect. No notes. <laughs> like, <fucking. laughs> so thank you, Chase. Yeah. yeah. So good. <laughs> three years ago. <laughs> you know, before I was fucking born. Uh -oh. <laughs> yep. I mean, that's right, your story, Izzy. and you're sticking to it. <laughs> I love that's just so right. funny. Fucking... That's right, Izzy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Just completely uh. disregarding the content of my words. Yep. That's right, oh. Izzy. And Max. <laughs> and Max. <laughs> Fine, Fernando. Uh. Sounds like it was inspired by our writing sessions. <laughs> oh, what a good, good time. Uh, speaking of good, good times, how about we jump back into it? That's ridiculous. Why would we ever do such a thing? That's crazy. Just this once as a favor to you. Just this once. All right. Checking to make sure everybody's still in the Riverside call. Good call. Good call. Good call. All right. Everybody's here. That's good. All right. I'm going to hit the record button in now. Five, four, three. Hello and welcome back to Swee and D, episode six. Woo! <laughs> oh, good job, everybody. Hey, yo. Last Survived time. this long. Good job. Did you win it? I'm surprised, honestly. Uh, fucking me too, right? <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's gonna be bad. I've been trying so hard. <laughs> Nothing's worked. All of the, like, three maybe All of fucking the, fights that we've been in the like, two, <laughs> i think two combats so. no we count the thwirls <laughs> <laughs> a wily and dangerous foe right mm -hmm. so last time on sween d the crypt star saga uh we started off with the captain coming into the rec room while the others uh while bobin pursuer and soraya were watching some uh, we're watching some Western movies. Mm -hmm. The captain pitched you guys play a little bit of uh, a little bit of blackjack. Um, after teaching you guys the game, uh, I think yeah, it was Steel who won the first game, and then Soraya who won the second one. The second one where it, you guys bet actual money on I don't, it. I don't think I won. I think it's oh, no, right. no, no, no. Three Bobin hands, won. including Bobins. Yeah, right. I just got the winnings. Yeah, you just got the <laughs> like, winnings yeah. for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bobin, Bobin won because he got blackjack. Yeah, yeah he got yeah, he blackjack. Did. Yeah, he fucking did. You guys continued to play, and as you guys were playing, Soraya and Pursuer noted that the captain has a particular tattoo on his shoulder. In insignia for the criminal organization known as Sable, the organization that currently has a bounty on both Pursuer and Sparrow for crossing them in the past. Pursuer then left the left the gambling game, uh, left the the game of blackjack to go find Pursuer and tell him. Meanwhile, Pursuer, or sorry, uh, meanwhile Sparrow was having a bit of a conversation with Aelion, where she discovered that, uh, where they both discovered things about each other. She discovered that Sparrow has been burned by the descendants of Obsidian in the past, and Sparrow discovered that she was essentially kind of tricked into joining the descendants herself. She revealed a bit about her past, how the her, her elven family essentially kicked her out because she didn't she wasn't born with any magic and that's why she, she she doesn't like magic so much they pitched her the uh they gave her the pitch of you know making magic less prevalent throughout the verse and that appealed to her after some discussion between the two they came to a, a sort of consensus where they basically are still going to do the thing that the cult wants them to do, but Aelion will now protect Sparrow, make sure, and to the best of her ability, make sure that no harm comes to him. Uh, and yeah, 
Uh, after that, Pursuer and Sparrow had a conversation where Pursuer reveals to, or Pursuer revealed to Sparrow that the captain is part of Sable. With that information in mind, they've decided to just keep an eye on the entire crew, essentially. After that, you guys got a, finally, a long rest in. The first one in the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> One day down, boys. <laughs> One day down. Six episodes in, and we're, we finally got a long rest. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, five episodes for one day. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Uh, and hey. yeah, after that, you guys uh, had a, a nice breakfast cooked by both Soraya and Bobin, mostly Soraya. <laughs> and... You guys are now getting ready to void jump to the next Maw station. And that what is are, where we're picking up. What are everyone's stations? Just so I remember. Like, what's everybody doing? Uh, that's a change of screen. Oh, yes. I should probably do that. Uh, thank you for the reminder. <laughs> nice. <laughs> thank you for the reminder. So, uh, the captain will obviously be in the flight deck. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. Who, uh, Bobin, you'll be in the engine room. Uh, Sparrow, I assume you'll be on the flight deck as well. Yeah, that's where I was last time. Mm hmm. Uh, Alien will join you this time. And. Oh, whoops. There you go. Alien will join um, you this time. Oh. She'll go over here. As, as we're separating, just pick, you know, pursuer, just sort of. Giving Sparrow like a like a stop on the shoulder, just I'm gonna be uh, separated for a while. Keep an eye in the back of your head. Oh, don't worry, I got to I got ways of letting you know if anything's up. Got it. All right, <laughs> let's, let's get to it, partner. Let's do it to it. Okay. Sparrow, for sure, after, after we void jump, I'd like to talk with you guys, if that's okay. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's not I, don't worry about it. I just want to talk to you guys. Don't worry. She's going to give you, like, a side eye. I'm like, I'm not sure I believe you, but I also can't read you for shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Soraya, where are you going? You kind of just can be I placed float, anywhere. I float, man. I like fucking float around the ship, mm -hmm. just fucking guarding people. That's fair. Yeah. Um, where are my doctor boy at? Uh, he's so. in his, uh, he's in the med bay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just go chill with him. Sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. That sounds good to me. He's over there. Hell yeah. Hi. Uh, oh, hi. How's it going? That's pretty good. I mean, I I don't have a whole lot to do when we're like boy jumping and whatnot because I'm just like security. So I'm just I'm just wandering around. I figured I'd hang out with you. Are you free to hang out? I oh, thank you. Don't exactly have a lot to do. I'm just prepping. Uh, I'm just prepping branches medicine for the day. Well, that's fine. We if if you don't mind, we could just hang out and get to know each other while we travel. That sounds good to me. Mm hmm. We don't have to roleplay that, so I'm just giving her something to do if you feel like sure, yeah, we can. But I'm just no problem. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, you let me know if you have anything you want to bring up to Galanel, uh, in specifically. But until you do, we'll just assume you guys are just casually talking. Hell yeah, fantastic. Okay, so everybody's in their in their positions. Before you guys ma jump, is there anything anybody wants to do? Uh, we're gonna get the seatbelts on and just get uh, situated. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. dude. Yep. That's Once we're all ready, then that's pretty much good. I don't have anything extra I want to do. All right. Over the comms, he tells everybody. All right, going yeah. dark in one minute. Bobin, start charging up the jump. Here we go. Jump charging. Uh, over the next minute. The buttons don't make that sound. It's Bobin making those sounds. Yeah. Hell yeah. 
uh, over the next minute, uh, the engine starts humming, uh, building up energy, this massive rippling energy that you're very familiar with. And the sh uh, it closes the shades this time um, throughout the ship. And you guys void jump. What? <laughs> Uh, you guys mod, you guys jump twice because you guys are only a class two ship. I'm actually going to share the galaxy map here. Uh, so you guys are here. Uh, you guys were pretty close to the, uh, to a maw station when you guys, uh, when you guys left. Uh, next, right? Our last jump was Nyx. Uh, our last jump. Yeah, your last jump was from Nyx. So you guys would be heading towards the, the next one. Well, Nyx is a planet, but the the but station next to here. planet. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but yeah, you guys can jump with a class two engine. You guys can jump 1300 light years per jump. Oh. And, yeah, and it's about, let's say... Ooh, it's about 3,000 light years from where you currently are. So, uh, we'll say it takes two jumps to get to the Maw Station here. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. okay. We, we've done one so far, right? Yes. You guys, okay. uh, we don't have to roleplay or do anything like that uh, with the uh, Maw jumps. You can just get there. Uh, two jumps, and you're at the Maw Station. You can no longer do a void jump today. So, we can, if you guys want, fast forward through a couple of days, uh, until you're in the, fa into the Galactic Frontier. I'm cool with that. Okay. Wait, sure. I, again, I do want to talk to <clears throat> Sparrow, Bruce or Ray and Bowman at some point. Right, yeah. yeah. But yeah, um, other than that. Oh, downtime yeah. stuff you'd want to do, but yeah. 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 Pretty solid. Uh, I assume you guys also want to deal with the Thwirl. Yeah, we, we do have we, that one Thwirl. Yeah. We put him in, in the in the fucking Thwirl yeah, he's got fucking the, pool 9000. got the Tilt of Thwirl 9000. That was it. Tilt of Thwirl. Couldn't fucking remember. <laughs> remember uh, the 9000. He's, he's, <laughs> he's got his own little ball. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's good. He's turned around. He's, he's good. Pet. I don't know what they eat other than the wires, uh, but we'll figure out what to feed him. <laughs> do we have like spare wires we can fucking feed him? <laughs> They eat, uh, they eat vegetables and fruits as well. Oh, hey, okay. we can feed up those. Mm -hmm. We got them. Yep. Uh, I assumed that you wanted to drop them, drop it off at the Maw Station, but if you want to keep it, that's fine as well. Yeah, that's, that's my little buddy in there. That's okay. okay. Oh, no. That's my little buddy. <laughs> Are you Bobin? sure? Uh, Do you have a name for the Thrill yet? I figure we can all name him as a group. Oh! <gasps> It's a lovely idea. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, I just, are you really sure you don't want to, like, I don't know, sell them to a pet shop or something? Like, we're at the station. We got it. We how's got that going to work? I, how's that going to work? I bring up an empty sphere, and I'm like, there's a pet inside of here. Give me money for it. That's not going to work. No one's going to see the twirl. They're all going right. to think it's just an empty bowl, and that we're trying to scam them. Oh, I mean, you, you can, I don't know, you can, you, you knock him out, uh, and then, and then, you know, you'll see the unconscious twirl. It's mean. That is mean. I mean, it, there's a chance that they might see through the illusion. We might get lucky. He's safe in the tilt twirl 9000. Like, why, why yeah. can't we just keep him? He's safe. I'm gonna feed him, uh, Space cabbage. Mm -hmm. Can you guarantee me? We'll take really good care of him. Can you guarantee for me that this tilt the thwirl nine thousand, as you call it, cannot be I don't know escaped from? By a thwirl, I could probably guarantee that. I mean, Dad, Bulban made it, so I have yeah. so much faith in it. I think it's something, basically indestructible. Something more powerful than a Thwirl could probably get out of there, but I think a Thwirl's gonna be pretty stuck. 
What uh, what does this thing look like, by the way? The Tilteth World Nine Thousand. <laughs> it looks like a a massive, like plastic reinforced like glass hamster ball, like like about the size of a beach ball, yeah. and it's got uh, some bells on it that uh, make noise when it when it rotates, and the thwirl can kind of make it move. So we can gotcha. see the we can see the ball moving around. Um, okay. At the same time, though, we want everybody to feel safe on the ship. Mm -hmm. So, if you're scared by a thwirl, you can say so. It's okay. You, you can say, and we, we I don't want to upset you. I ain't scared of a thwirl. It is just my job to make sure that you're all safe, and mm -hmm. I kind of feel like I'm being lax in those duties if I just let that thing go unquestioned. I mean, it's also my job to make no safe. As a man made out of wires, I have. No objection to admitting my fear. <laughs> That's understandable. It's, very it's brave of you to it. say that. It's brave. <laughs> hey, what? Well, we can ask other members of the crew, and and if everybody agrees that we should either like get rid of it, then we'll get rid of it. But if everybody agrees that we should keep him, then we can keep him. How does that sound? Oh, that that sounds reasonable, I suppose. We ask everybody else how they feel about the throw. <laughs> I, I believe I made my opinion quite you know, succinct. Okay, so we got two no's from, from Sparrow and Pursuer, and we got two yeses from Soraya mm -hmm. and Bobin. So we're mm -hmm. tied so far. What say the others, Spencer? Mm -hmm. If you're asking them. Yup. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. The captain would be all about getting rid of it. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. So he's yeah. he's a no. Okay. The no Branch it would be a now. yes. Oh, we're tied again. Okay. Gallinel would be a. I think Gallinel would be a no. The no's are winning again. And Alien would be a yes. We're fucking tied, we're yo! Mm-hmm. <sighs> Everybody, we're tied. Mr. Thrall, what do you want to do? <laughs> Thrall gets a vote. <laughs> He's a member of the crew, Sparrow. <laughs> He's a stowaway. <laughs> He's a saboteur. <laughs> Shaking your fist. <laughs> God, a fucking a criminal. <laughs> can, can, I, can I see it or no? Roll a wisdom saving throw with advantage. Hell yeah, okay. Thank God I got advantage. I got a negative fucking modifier, y'all. Mm -hmm. I want to see if I can see it too. I'm also going to throw a saving throw. Okay. With the advantage. You, yeah, you're just rolling straight. 15? 15? Okay. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Uh, Bobin, uh, why don't you roll as well? Am I rolling solid or with advantage? Solid. Okay, I bet. Oh, shit. oh hell yeah! I see Damn. this motherfucker. I see this fucking criminal. <laughs> you both see him. <laughs> hell yeah! He's so adorable. What? What do you think? What do you want to do? Tell us your secrets, Tiny Thrall. Mm -hmm. If you want to stay on the ship, nod your head up and down. Roll me an animal handling check. Fair. That's also a negative one of our each. <laughs> Makes sense. It's my wisdom. Do I got a needs to, or no? It needs to be able to understand you. You don't have an uh, you don't have an innate way to speak with animals, so Yeah, it's true. So just normal? Yeah, normal roll. Straight roll. Okay, here we go. That's a four. <laughs> Tilts its head at you, like what? Oh, I don't think he understands me. <laughs> like looked him over. Like, oh. Okay. Let me see what I can do. Stretch. Crack my neck. Do you want to... Should, should you stay or should you go now? Animal <laughs> handling. Minus one. Zero. Oh, yeah! <laughs> you got a zero total? I rolled a zero. I rolled a zero. <laughs> no. It's just staring at you. <laughs> that check was off the charts. Yeah. That was incredible. <laughs> With, with the cracking the neck and all that build up and then zero. 
<laughs> oh, gain an inspiration. Response. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I get it. Because <laughs> yes. you technically rolled a one on the die, it just turned out to be zero. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh. true. <laughs> wow. It's pretty great. No, what the fuck do we do with this thing? <laughs> uh, guys, I, I, he's not even sure what he wants to do. Crazy. He doesn't even know I, what he's I doing. I tilt now. my head at Sparrow the same way that the Thorn <laughs> tilted his head at me when he says crazy. <laughs> like, <laughs> hmm. it's like, in a really mocking tone, just bend down to the Thorn. What do you want to do, little guy? Do you want to go to a pet store? Roll animal handling. <laughs> Hell yeah. I need you to fucking that 20 of this shit, bitch. So you're like, oh my god, I can understand it. <laughs> like, oh. Seven. It's just tilting know, its head again. Yeah. <gasps> Sparrow, did, did you understand him? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, didn't didn't you, did I not mention that Tabaxi and Thoral language is very similar? Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't think it was a Tabaxi thing. I just thought that you were even more special than I already thought that you were. But wow, that works too. Sure. Yeah, he definitely he wants to he wants to go. Um, he wants to explore the Moss Station. I, th I think we should let him spread his wings. He doesn't have wings. <laughs> he doesn't have wings. His proverbial wings. I don't think he's got those either. Charlie looks really sad. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, if he... The Moss Stations are really cool, and if he wants to explore, that makes sense. But I like I having him around. He's so cute. He's a grown little thwirl man thing. He deserves to have freedom if he wants it. Oh, wait a moment. <laughs> a pursuer is going to take Sparrow aside. Sparrow, I understand what you're doing here. You have perhaps phrased that differently. That's so. You, you just indicated that the best way to suit the Thwirl's wishes was to set it loose on a moss station. We're at the moss station right now, store. right? Uh, yeah, you guys are at the moss yeah. station. I throw it, I throw yeah, it out the door. <gasps> you throw it out onto the moss station? <laughs> Go be free! Go be, be free! free. <laughs> Live fucking... your life! Just oblivious to this? Like, well, I mean, of course we keep it inside the ball. We don't let it loose. loose. And, then, and you oh, see it like... It. It. Yep. I'm like a crying into Bowman. <laughs> it's grow up so fast. <laughs> it is running <laughs> off. It's <laughs> Just turn back crying around. and holding Soraya. Okay, so let's send this little guy. Where did he go? He's you living his him. life. See the empty ball and it running off into the distance. Oh no! Uh, roll a so this, this roll a wisdom save I mean. before you. <laughs> yeah. Before you clock, so you he's run off. Fucking see it, <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, wisdom save. You're looking oh, to beat a 12. Own. I did not. That was you a didn't. 5. You did not beat a 12. I mean, you couldn't see it in the first place, so. Yeah. Fucking... But you can see that it's now open. Yeah, it's like, why is that open? What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> well, I mean, like, we weren't gonna like let it loose on the moss station that'd be crazy that's what you said you wanted you told to us that's what he wanted sure but like within reason you keep him in the ball so that he he remains I'm not the one who can talk to thwirl sparrow i didn't know that that's what he said i didn't know you were just gonna do it the second i turned my back i thought we had more time to work out details well, of the course thwirl we were. said he wanted to be wants free to be the Thwirl said he wanted to be free, and you wanted to sell him into slavery. God damn it! We need to discuss these things before you just go off half cock. <laughs> we did, I thought. I thought we did. Well, what do you want? Do you want us to go get it? I think that ship has sailed. Well, I don't know. Can I still see it? <laughs> Can I look for it? Oh, uh, it is gone by this point. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's fair. It's sprinted off. <laughs> Well, I hope you're happy, Sparrow. I've never been happy. 
<laughs> Solid Simpsons reference, my boy. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job, everyone. <laughs> Fucking, uh, Captain, you there? Yes. Are you just, like, <laughs> communicating through the, like, data pad or whatever? Yeah, it's like radio, whatever we got for yeah. internal ship communication. Sure. Yeah, um, do we have anything pressing we need to do before we ship out again? Not to my knowledge, no. Well, cool. I would suggest for no particular reason that we ship out now. We can't. Oh, we have to wait for the jump for the engine to recharge. Ah, so there is a thing we need to do. Okay. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. that. Well, I thought you meant like, you know, being somewhere urgently. No, more a, a place we need to not be urgently. What did you do? I didn't. I just want to preface this by saying I didn't do anything. What did you do? That's not technically captain. true. You're lying to that's... the captain, Sparrow. That's not okay. Shut up. I'm on the Sparrow. Shut the fuck up. Sparrow, that's <laughs> technically not true. You definitely did something. I, I did not. That is not what I advocated for. My words were taken out of context. Just tell the captain what you did, Sparrow. Yeah, they let the foil loose. They what? Yeah, they let it loose. It's all, it's it's gone. It's like out the door. It's on the station. I, oh. I don't even know where it went. Okay. All right. Um. Tell the authorities. At least. Well, so you can what? put them in jail. So what you should I to be tell free? them? That there's a that there's a thwirl left uh, that loose on the on the station. Tell them tell them you you saw it. Do not lead it back to our ship. All right, cool. Yeah, I can do that. That is that is doable. Fantastic. Sealing up the ship now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um. Is that something we can like? Can we call the authorities on the radio, or do we have to like find a station? Within the station, or you could just—I mean, I mean, you have a phone. Essentially, you can just call the police. <laughs> cool. Okay. Yeah, just making sure I understand how this universe works. I yeah, will yeah. do that. Cool, cool. I mean, moth stations are also really cool, so I wouldn't mind going out onto the mall to just like look for it, and also, you know, explore the mall. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I guess we could also do that. We got some time. Mm -hmm. Let's call. Let's call the authorities first and see what they say for their precautions. Okay. Sure. Sure. Um, I guess I call animal control. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Space animal control. Space animal control. Oh, animal control. Animal. Uh, yeah. Uh, you, you, <laughs> uh, you call the number. Yeah, what is it? Hey, hello, is this uh, animal control for the station? It is, why? Yeah, I just wanted to, you know, I'm, I'm a concerned citizen. I think I saw, I think you call it a, a thwirl uh, running around. It was, it was jumping into like a, like a cable box or something, and I think it was doing some damage. All right, thank you for letting us know. No problem, do you need to know where I saw it or? Yes. Uh, I I give him the the kind of like the dock number like I think it was somewhere around there. All right, thank you. We'll take care of it. All right, thank you kindly. Have a good day. You as well. Beep. Click. All right, easy enough. So what now? Well, now we go look for it. Yeah. I mean, also, I do you think they got like a patty prince around here? Covered. Okay, but we could like go out onto the mall and look around the mall for it, but also just see how cool the mall is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean that second part's fine. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> is there anywhere in particular that you? Is there anything in particular you're looking for? I got like, <laughs> I got three things 
two of them are probably at like the same spot. Gotcha. Uh, as well right. as like the world generally. One, I want to find a patty prince. Uh, two, <laughs> nice. Two, nice. Mm -hmm. Two, I want to find like some kind of like flea market kind of equivalent spot where I can just trade junk and tchotchkes and etc. things. Hell yeah. Sure. Let's go to the... You, you do find a patty prince there. They're all over the galaxy. Um, yeah. <laughs> probably not on, like, the outer maws, but you guys are still in the sort of mid-ring around the galaxy where mm. things are still, you know, more more civilized and more... We're not quite in the boonies where you gotta drive, exactly. like, 30 minutes to yeah. get to a place. Yeah, we're yeah. good, we're good. Hell mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gotta drive. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta pick up groceries. I'm gonna head to. I'm gonna head to the next ma, <laughs> like right? a couple like, thousand fuck. light years away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> pick ma up groceries. I'll be back in thirty store. minutes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> amazing. I, I love a, this. I only got a class one dark matter course, so I gotta take a day. Yeah. To get back. <laughs> yeah. Only got the one jump. Uh. But yeah, you yeah you do find you do find a patty prince. Uh, there's a big big cheeseburger so, uh, like sign next to the words "Patty Prince" in a very stylistic font above uh, the entrance of the patty prince here. Hell yeah! Have you guys ever been to a patty prince? Yes, you take me to one. Mm -hmm. I know you. I've been uh, around. Let me see a lot of ma stations. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you been there? Have you had food? Have you had some patty prints? Uh, yeah, I think so, I guess. Okay, okay. Sue, what about you? I'm, I might have, might have tracked a bounty into one or two, but, uh, you know, Vect. No, 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 There's, they got stuff. They got stuff even for Vect. They got everything. They got everything you, you could ever want. I got to show you. All right, come on, come on, everybody, everybody, come on, come on, here we go, here we go. <laughs> He's like pulling for sewer. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So get up to the front. Yep. Uh, Bobin orders uh, three three meal equivalent foods and four paper crowns. Fantastic. <laughs> you get these basically fast food equivalent meals here. Uh. Why don't you mark off, like, five credits? You got it. Cool. Did it. Good job. How much do you have? 25 credits. Oh, God. That's enough for a game of, <laughs> of blackjack. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. Heck yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. Bobin uh, folds the crowns as though he's practiced it time and time again and uh and distributes them at the table everybody <laughs> gets their own little paper crown beautiful i wish for my crown to be placed on my head like the queen that i am please of course your <laughs> majesty thank you <laughs> gently, like kneels and gently rests at the top <laughs> <laughs> thank you kind sir <laughs> I try to do the same for him, but he's too tall. Oh, it's like, it's like practically <laughs> prone when you try to do that. Yeah. Got <laughs> <laughs> this, Your Majesty. Oh, I, I, I did it. Oh, boom, your boom, Majesty. Boom. Your Majesty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> your Majesties, are you enjoying your crowns? Addressing the mm -hmm. other two. Do Do you wish to have the crowns placed on your head like the kings that you are? <laughs> I am, I am enjoying it from a distance. <laughs> okay. Pursuer, Pursuer, to you, Pursuer, <laughs> Pursuer takes his, Pursuer takes the paper crown and puts it on top of uh, uh, his hat. Is that, <laughs> is that close enough? You look <laughs> wonderful. King of the right. cowboys. <laughs> king boy, cow king. Mm. Oh. Oh, you guys, I'm gonna like look around. How like busy is it here? Uh, not that busy. Like, so we could like have a kind of private conversation if I wanted to. Yes. 
Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna like lean in, just kind of like, guys. Okay, so I want to talk to you guys about something. Well, and, and, and say the word like whisper. What? Your Majesty. Oh wait, you don't have your crown on. Mm. <laughs> you oh don't get God. it, Your Majesty. <laughs> God damn it, whatever. I just put it on. <laughs> Your <laughs> Majesty! <laughs> it's so haphazardly added, just like, it's fine. Right? Yeah, it's, like, yeah. it's like on one ear, but like the other's popping out. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's so cute. <laughs> oh, anywho. Okay, so I, I don't know if any of you guys noticed uh, while we were playing blackjack with the captain. He, he has like a tattoo, like on his arm, and that he, I, I think he used to be associated with Sable. Do you guys know them? We've, uh, mm. we got history. Oh. Yeah, you could say that. Maybe had a, a run in back in the day. Oh, okay. Maybe, uh, I've only maybe heard we've stories. got a bounty on our heads from them. Oh. Yeah, we're on the oh, bad side of them. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that job we mentioned, the the reason we uh we know each other. That was that job. <clears throat> kind of uh broke Damn. into one of the hideouts and stole their client list. And oh. there is a possibility that I may have screwed up and not wiped the security tapes thoroughly enough. Oh. Yeah, well, you were, you were but a little kitten back then. That's uh, mm. that's hardly your fault. Still, my training should have been more than enough to prepare me for that. Like, plans change. I, I should have been able to roll with the punches better. I mean... As long as you're saying it. <laughs> okay, well, there's no point in, like, making yourself feel bad about mistakes that you made. Like, they... They happened, and you can do the best that you can to deal with them. Um, I think the main thing to worry about is if the the captain is working with them and knows about your bounty. Which, I mean, I I asked him about his tattoo, and he said that it was like from the past that he's not like associated with them anymore. But I don't know. I don't know if he's just telling me that or not. You know? Yeah. I mean, words are cheap. Could easily be lying about it to cover his ass. It's true. Hmm. But he doesn't he doesn't seem aggressive towards you guys. Like we were hanging out and playing games and then having breakfast and stuff. That's true. I haven't really gotten any kind of untoward hostility from him. Not from him at least. Hmm. Okay, so how bad are these sable guys they're like an honor among thieves sort of thing and they all just kind of bad <laughs> oh I, I guess not i mean they're organized don't say mm. that much but uh, i don't really know uh i don't know if honor would really apply to them so much mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so then you well, guys are pretty I, safe because uh... you just gotta go somewhere where the money's at to drop your guys off if he was gonna try to do that and if he's going to try to do that, then you're going to know he's taking you there. And uh, if he tries to call someone in to, like, wrangle you guys, then they'd probably backstab him. So he wouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. That is fair. <laughs> okay, but we'll just, just make sure to keep an eye on him, though. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. The on rest that. of the crew seem nice, though. Yeah, about that? Oh, no. Ma made some discoveries of my own last night. <clears throat> Galanel, it was only a matter of time. <laughs> <gasps> no, he seems so nice. <laughs> I actually didn't find anything much on him. Oh. oh. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, never mind. Uh, so, anyway. Um... <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> What's going on? The Star Whisper. She, uh... Pretty much confirmed to me that she is a active member of the Descendants of Obsidian. But, what? But, what? Yeah, but, weird as it is to say, I, 
I don't think she's a threat. They, she's an um, active member. Why didn't you kill her when you found out? Well, I wanted to get some information out of her first, so, you know, I, I talked to her for a little bit. But, um, didn't really expect what I got from her. Although, I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. She is a member, but, like, very low down. And it kind of seems like when they recruit people, they give them a very different story than uh, what's actually going on. They they just told her that they're trying to kind of lessen the effects of magic, like the, loosen the stranglehold it has over our society. But uh, yeah, she didn't really seem to know anything about the more, you know, horrific side of things. Is, is she like trying to get out? Like, like you? I don't know what she's really planning. I, it, it, all I really know is she says she's going to keep with her current mission for the time being, which basically just amounts to keeping me alive. Hmm. Yeah, it's, like I said, confusing. I uh, was kind of expecting someone more, uh, I don't know, mustache twirling evil kind of thing. This is uh, a bit more complicated than I was prepared for. It's also very easy for evil people to lie. Do you believe her? I don't know. I think so. She... I don't know. She said a lot of things that hit close to home. And it didn't feel like a lie. I desperately wanted to find anything that she was giving off that would, that would make me think that it was all bullshit, but... Uh, if it mm. if it is a lie, if it is a lie, it was a very very good one. Well, you said that the descendants basically know everything about you, right? And she was sent to protect you. So maybe she knows everything about you too, and she would know the right things to say to you that would hit close to home. She would know exactly how to lie to you. Oh yeah, trust me, I have. I have been saying the same things in my head on repeat all night. Ugh. It's, there's no way to know for sure. Definitely don't let our god down, though. Like, I want to be clear about that. Like, if it is not worth the risk to just tell her everything, she could easily turn traitor. If she isn't already. So, are you saying that you think she's on our side, or we should try to get her on our side? Like, what do you want? Uh, honestly, I, I guess I don't really know. And I don't like that. Uh, it, what 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 do you what do you all think? I'm I maybe I'm too close to this. What does this look like from the outside? Look at Priscilla and Bobin. I don't know. I wanna trust all of your friends. I wanna give them a chance if we can. But if she's some sort of crazy evil mastermind that knows all the things about all the stuff, then... Yeah, I don't know how we'd do that. Yeah. Um, out of curiosity, how, how did you deduce her involvement? Mm-hmm. 
Oh yeah, that's the weird thing. She just kind of said it. All right. What? You, you, what you, what you walked in your room and she was like, "By the way, I'm part of this evil organization." Not in those exact words, but yeah, more or less. That's 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 basically what happened. Oh, well, that is a um, most peculiar way of finding your enemies. Yeah, Gosh, my job she... was that easy. And when I when I pulled the gun on her, she seemed legitimately shocked that that was my reaction. All right. Could be a double bluff, but I suppose that does lead some credence to her. All right. Yeah. I guess we just keep an eye on her, like trust but verify. Where's the limba? <sighs> Honestly, it might be coloring my judgment a little bit that if she can be turned, that puts me in a much better position to act freely. Because <sighs> it means I wouldn't have somebody looking over my shoulder reporting back to the top brass. You said she was kind of low down, so would she be reporting back to the top brass? I don't know. I... I mean, it I mean, seems what? weird that they wouldn't have any way to communicate, but, like... She is a I mean, member of the... Why of the else? Toilet. Why else would she be here if she couldn't communicate with them? Yeah, like, things come up. You gotta be able to, you know, let people know that plans are changing. Yeah. At the very least, sh mm, wait, actually. No, maybe not. And what are you thinking? Well, I just had the thought that uh, it's pretty common among coalition members to uh, know a particular cantrip that uh, lets you send small messages basically over an infinite distance. Uh, it's, it's really good for just, mm -hmm. you know, really quick stuff. But, uh, if she's being truthful, she claims she is completely incapable of magic. Oh. And once again, that does seem like it tracks. Everything I've ever seen, whenever the descendants have, uh, well, kidnapped me for the tests, none of it was very magical. Like, to a weird degree. Like, very into technology. Like, it was to the point where, with a lot of them, I could never see their faces, but I could never tell if it was, like, some kind of mask, or if they were just so decked out in, like, augmentations that I couldn't tell the difference. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Well, I guess we're in the camp of keep an eye on her, too. Yeah, I, uh, I think that would be best. Don't, I guess don't be, like, hostile toward her, like, I guess play middle of the road. We'll be cooperative, but keep an eye on her. Okay. Okay. So we're keeping an eye on the captain, and we're keeping an eye on her, but we can be cool with uh, a Nautilid friend and super mm. cool with the doctor because there's no problems with them, right? Right? That we know of just yet. Oh, I don't yeah. want there to be problems True. with them. I just want to make friends. Yeah, they're cool. I at least don't have any incriminating evidence against them so far. Right. <sighs> That's good. Um, 
But as long as we're talking about things and, you know, clearing the AS, and who's trustworthy. Yeah. I do have some questions for you, too. Okay. Oh. Number one. Hemp Hill. Mm-hmm. You said you had it on good authority that someone was going to try and destroy the ship. Uh-huh. Could I persuade you to elaborate? I, like, look at Bob and, like, oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, but, like... You guys have to keep it a secret, okay? Uh, yeah, sure. We're, I mean, we're kind of doing that a lot. If I had lips, you could consider them sealed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay. I don't really know what it is. I think it just, like, it might be, like, a special gift that I have. I don't know, just because, like, I'm super special and stuff. <laughs> but sometimes I... I have like dreams or like like visions of stuff that's gonna happen. And before we got on the ship, I had a vision of it exploding. At least I, I feel like it's our ship. I, I had the same dream last night and I got a little bit more information. Cause I wasn't sure before, like if it was our ship, cause I hadn't been on it yet. And there was, there was a male voice and I wasn't sure whose it was, but now I really think it was the captain's. And it, it seemed like we weren't like in space. We weren't traveling or on a mall. I think we were on a planet because it seemed like I was laying on grass. All right. So yeah. wherever you are in your vision, you make it planet side. Mm -hmm. Imagine worse scenarios. Mm hmm. But it was really bad, you guys. Like, I was, I was, like, stuck under a bunch of debris, and, like, I couldn't see any of you guys. I just heard the captain screaming for help, and everything was on fire. It was really bad. But you guys can't, you can't tell anyone that I have these visions, because it's really weird. And people, people don't like weird things. They, they tend to want to kill weird things, so don't, don't tell anybody, okay? I'm really, I mean, really trusting you guys. Yeah. Obviously. It's not even beyond that. I mean, we don't know who or what could be causing the explosion. Exactly. Us telling a particular person on the crew might be what causes it. Exactly. Sparrow's kind of eyeing you up like, so you're claiming that your source is some mysterious psychic power? Yes, <laughs> magic cat. That is what she's saying. Mm-hmm. He's gonna insight check. <laughs> uh Soraya, roll Go a persuasion. Ahead, magic talking yeah. cat. No, <laughs> roll right? Persuasion like, magic... or deception. Okay. Izzy, I love your character. <laughs> same. Same. Love you guys too. Oh my god. <laughs> That wasn't private. It was not private. <laughs> but, it was supposed uh, to be. I'm very sorry. You it's want okay. Me to do it again. Uh, I mean, you already know what you. <laughs> he already knows what you <laughs> roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> She's telling the truth. Yeah. So, like, what's going through Sparrow's mind is basically like, it's not that you know psychic powers are bullshit or something like that. Like, he knows those you know exist. It would just be very difficult to disprove and thus would be kind of a easy excuse if it was a lie yeah so he's trying to get a read on her it's like all right okay yeah, like big like hopeful eyes like please believe me <laughs> <laughs> right i um can i roll history to see if like pursuer like lucia's he's known other people with certain gifts like if that sounds familiar what is your intelligence score intelligence uh 
Uh, oh. Oh, that's initiative. Uh, intelligence. Uh, 12. A 12. You have not heard of any beings that can do that? There's some, like, maybe divination wizards who can tell the tell the future through certain means? Hmm. But... They also oh, like people wait. blessed by it's, gods who could yeah. see stuff. Yeah. Mm. Divination, like, well, th or but, divination through, like, the gods and whatnot. I have heard of, like, I have heard of people that can do that. Yes, but they're yeah. usually spellcastery types, like wizards or clerics. Mm. And as far as you know, Soraya isn't that. Yeah. Oh. I suppose it's not totally unheard of. But definitely uncommon. Like, mm -hmm. mostly hear about that with, like, Rothians and stuff. I kind of give, uh, mm -hmm. Bobin, like, a look out of the corner of my eye just to see if he's, like, reacted <laughs> to the first Bobin <laughs> is the nodding in agreement and does not pick up any, <laughs> any other side <laughs> of the vibe at all. Dude. It's like, yep, they do that, yep. It's the energy of the guy, like, at a restaurant, like, oh, this, this menu isn't very good, maybe we should abort. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like, give the face like the the date test yeah <laughs> exactly exactly that fucking energy <laughs> god damn uh, cool <sighs> okay um Dom. I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner I I know that we like shouldn't keep secrets and stuff if we want to trust each other. So um, I am sorry. I just I I didn't know you, and it's it's a big secret. No, no, I I get that more than most. There's plenty of reasons to hold stuff uh, close to your chest. I I don't begrudge you that. We've only known each other a couple of days. Thank you. <laughs> Is that all you wanted to ask me? Um. Yeah, I, 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 I guess for now, yeah. For um, now. I, you never know. It's a long trip. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Sparrow could ask you all sorts of questions, like what's your favorite color, and <gasps> what's your favorite, uh, and and, and uh, what's what's your favorite Western? We've only seen the one, but we'll you know. We could see more later. It's a long trip. That's very true. You saw part. You saw part of one. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Also, I really like pink and green. Those are very good colors. <laughs> to answer that question, just in case you were curious, Bobby. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. I know all about that. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah. No. Um. Tom Grinder. Yeah. Um. I don't mean to be, like, indelicate or anything, like, um... What is your opinion on the Warhorde? Uh, I mean, it's... It's kind of complicated, but not great. Not a huge fan of the Warhorde. Yeah? Uh, how so? We got a while. So I assume we got at least the rest of the day, and I uh, doubt anybody in this Paddy Prince really cares, so, um, uh, I mean, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm an, I'm an orc, got orc family, got orc brothers, and orc mom and dad, and orc uncles, and cousins, and all that, so, you know, I kind of fell in with the war horde after, uh, after Oren blew up, and, uh, you know, they, uh, they do a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of propaganda work to really make it seem like the Warhorde's a great place to do stuff for, and you're furthering orcish culture, and you're champion of the people, and you're a hero, and all that, but, you know, it doesn't really turn out that way, and you peel back the layers. So, uh, I used to have 
used to have action figures of the Primarch of the War Horde. And they really made him out to be a nice guy, but, uh, you know, most people say he wasn't. Especially out here. So, you know, I'd served my time with the War Horde, and I was on board for a while, and, and I started meeting more people and doing more stuff, and found a mall station eventually, and got another perspective on it, and that really, uh, really opened my eyes to a lot. Access to information and various peoples really does that. Yeah. Plus, uh, you know, with, with a war horde, if you're a higher rank than someone else, you can kill any lower rank you want for any reason you want. So, uh, Jesus. asking uh, questions is, uh, yeah. No, I've, yes, I've heard that swear word before, Jesus. Yeah, I've heard that one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've been hanging out with too many humans. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, I've, uh, not a lot of dissension you can really do, but then again, if you're in command, not a lot of killing you can really do before you get mutinied. So, uh, yeah, there's a tenuous balance there. I can, sorry, I can see that Bobin's kind of struggling talking about this stuff. I'm gonna pull a hand on his hand, try to comfort mm. him. Hold right his hand. Mm. So, yeah, I mean, you know, got a lot of ties to the war horde my uh my parents and siblings are all still uh still doing stuff for that still involved with whatever extent they're on they're on the home world right now on the second home world now and uh i don't know are you guys cool can i like tell you guys stuff you're gonna be weird I, I, don't, I don't think I'm weird. Do I, do I put out a weird vibe? I mean, so far, I mean, you're, you're, not, you're not trying to shoot me so far for the Warhold thing, so... Yeah, it really depends on your definition of weird, because keep in mind, this one's call sign is Fister. That, <laughs> uh, I'm going to change that. The you second can, I can late. find the coalition, like, station, it's all over I'm going to put in, system. like, a, a requisition to, to, to change that. Open. It's too late. You, I'm so sorry. You can but... share whatever you're comfortable sharing. Okay. If you if you find it too difficult to say things, I'm sure that Pursuer and Sparrow would understand. Right, you guys? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so sorry. I, I didn't mean to get so uh, personal. I uh, just That's wanted okay. to know who I'm uh, getting in bed with, as it were. It's all right. Well, we, we all have our own beds. <laughs> Unless you want to snuggle. Try to snuggle over there, Fister. Not hey, what you're, I meant. You really have been. You you really have been hanging out with humans. <laughs> I pick up a lot of the, the fucking slang, I guess. He's like a little kitty-shaped sponge. He wants to curl up at the end of your bed. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so just going to rip this one off right now. Um... You might know Uncle Bulky's or flavored pork rinds. Well, Heard about it once or twice. Okay, good, yep. <laughs> I hadn't gotten a taste of it earlier today, didn't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, well, Uncle Bulky is, you know, kind of everyone's uncle in the War Horde, what with the branding, and he's got, like, a planet-sized carrier or something like that that he travels around in, it's like a multi-quadrillionaire or whatever, but uh, uh, he's also my uncle in a very literal sense. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So you're, you... so you're like like stupid rich. Oh, I'm not. Unless, mm -mm. You, unless I'm rich in no. Uncle Bulky's old clever pork rinds, which I got like 900 of. <laughs> Mm -hmm. A lot of packs of that kicking around, uh, but uh, yeah, no, I, I don't really. Not after all the ships I crashed. How many ships did you crash? A couple. <laughs> I'm gonna get numbers, like like actual numbers. 
Uh, he's like, uh, looks up, and you see his fingers kind of like going up in numbers. Like he's kind of like counting in his head, and as he, it's, it's, he gets past like eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Probably somewhere in the double digits, but like low tens, I'm thinking. In the low tens? I how? Yeah. How in the name of the sun did you manage to hold on to a pilot's license? I got two pilot's mm -hmm. licenses, technically. Mm-hmm. Because he's very talented. Mm-hmm. That goes. don't sound right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, but like, how do you still have a pilot's license? Well, I haven't crashed one since I crashed into the mall that one time. Mm -hmm. You crashed into a mall? Yeah, like a little. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that was like, that was like that was over like six months ago, ago, right? Yeah, that was like six plus months ago. It's yeah, forever ago. it's forever six ago. Months? Did you forever not go ago. to prison? Like a little, yeah, but like who hasn't, you know? <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> Same. Who are you? Oh no, prison for me. No, okay. I'm still prison cool. time. What, what are you clapping? Wouldn't I you like to know, know, kitty boy? <laughs> Raised eyebrow, like I was. I meant that as a joke, but now, like, fuck, have you gone to prison? <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Oh, yeah, me and Soraya, we're both hardened criminals. Yeah, <laughs> y'all better watch out, girl. Yeah, watch out. <laughs> Mr. I, I got a bounty concerned. on me, and Mr. I got a bounty on me, number two. Yeah. <clears throat> In fairness, we have a bounty on us from criminals. Mm-hmm. Well, me, all right. The war horde thinks the Lakshay are criminals. Everybody thinks everybody's criminals. That's true. No, no. I mean, actually, a criminal organization. This ain't a race thing. This is they specifically commit crimes and nothing else. Right, yeah. but crimes against who? And then who else is going back at them? Uh, everybody's everyone. everybody's Every criminals when you look at it. It's all a matter of perspective. They like fleece the elderly and like sell drugs to kids. Yeah, they're bad. So they're, they provide bad. medicine for the youth and clothe <laughs> the elderly. And you're only <laughs> giving them a bad name. That is. He's making a point. No, I'm he not... does not. <laughs> that is a very. Very generous interpretation of the words I used. Thank you, Sparrow. <laughs> Not a cop. Oh my god. <laughs> he's, he's gonna have a fucking aneurysm, dude. <laughs> like... <laughs> Bobin's out here dealing psychic damage. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> fucking right, goddamn. You, you learned that from the ruffian. <laughs> oh, Madam Kira? Yeah, he's cool. Oh, my God. Okay, so... I guess... The, the, the point is, you're not actively working for the Warhood. Uh, no, no, I'm not. Uh, nor do I have any intention to, and I don't really want to go back. It's, it's really good to hear. Uh... Is there anyone, like... I don't know, from your old life that, uh, I don't know, we might need to keep an eye out for? Like, to look out for because they're cool, or like to look out for because I suck? I <laughs> guess there both, be a problem. both, but more pressingly, I guess the ones that suck. Okay, okay. Alright, so, yeah. Killer Creek sucks the most, he's a dick. Mm. Sucks ass, he's my old commanding Not in the go way. No, mm -hmm. no, he's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's, uh, he's a hobgoblin. He's got the rank of Slayer in the Warhold. Uh, y'all know how the Warhold military rank stuff goes, right? You, no you idea. That. Okay, no, no, right, does me. not ring a bell. Okay, one second. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls out, like, a little folded up, like, creased up sheet of, like, loose leaf paper. Like, alright, <laughs> so it goes in order. You start with Grunt, then you got Big Grunt, that's a step up from there. Then you got Sapper, and uh, then you got Raider, then it's Slasher, then Big Slasher, then Bigger Slasher, 
Then Beast Slasher. Mm -hmm. Then you hit Slayer, Commander, Devastator, War Chief, and finally Primarch of the War Horde. And there's only one of him. Gotcha. Right. So Slash is pretty, or Slayer is pretty high up. Oh yeah, Slayer's like um, I'm trying to remember how you guys did it in yours. It's kind of like the lieutenant. Like no, you're you're like junior lieutenant. It's like Slayer's like at whatever rank it is that you get your own really big ship, and it's got like all sorts of other littler ships that you can dogfight with, and like thousand plus men under your command kind of thing fleet commander or something yeah probably probably close to that yeah okay oh. uh let me let me make sure i didn't miss any here grunt big grunt sapper raider slasher big slasher bigger slasher biggest slasher slayer amanda primark commander devastator war chief primark Devastator, War Chief. Gotcha. Yeah, Devastator's <laughs> one, War Chief's another, Primarch's another. Oh yeah, thank you for uh, copy pasting yeah. that. If I got you. Like, if you're like a War Chief, then you kind of run like a whole planet kind of thing. Like you're up there. Oh. If you're, and then there's the Primarch, which is, uh, he's a big one. Okay. Um. So, just that guy, or anybody else? Yeah, Killer Krieg. He's a bad one. He's a big bad. Um, he was my old commanding officer forever ago. Uh, I, I was the one that I was on was on his ship with the uh, when, when I got that mission to go to the mall. Uh, it's bad news. Uh, Killer Krieg wants to become the next. Prime mark, if we can. Uh, which, mm -hmm. uh, probably would be real bad if he did, because, uh, you know, current Prime mark's not great, but, uh, Killer Krieg would be even worse. Ugh. And there, uh, the cool ones that I think would be neat to run into would be Bug, my old buddy Bug. Uh, and mm. then Bobin will pull out that picture that you took a picture of. Uh, <laughs> we'll pull out that picture. Uh, so this here is Bug, and he points to this goblin that kind of has like a cross-eyed stare, but both eyes are on the far side of his face. And he looks <laughs> kind of half feral, and there's drool coming out the side of his mouth. He's doing what looks like approximately a smile, but is like... Struggling. Closer to like what you'd attribute to like a dog or a cat smiling, where you're not oh. really a hundred percent sure that they know what that <laughs> is, but he seems like he's having a good time, probably. Probably. Uh. Probably. Uh, and then, uh, and and then there's my other buddy, uh, Malum Kirith, and points to the Rothian. Oh, you don't have to is worry that about. Is a Rothian? Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't have to worry about the one in the middle too much. That's Olivia. Uh, it points to a... a I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that the one in the middle that they took the picture with is going to be a bugbear. I think I said it was an orc last time because I was making up what the picture was going to be when you pulled okay. it out. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm going to retcon it slightly. It's going to be a bugbear. This bugbear okay. in the middle nice. that is... Uh, looks psychically stunned. Like, oh. <laughs> as though they're barely <laughs> conscious but are still on their feet. They look like their brain has been paused mid-picture. Uh, uh, yeah, the one in the middle is Olivia. Uh, he's um, he's he's weird, but you know it's fine. We were pranking him. <laughs> hmm. uh, okay. So bug, Olivia, bug, and yep. Malin Kirith. Yeah, there's bug, which is the goblin, and then Olivia, please don't kill me, which is the bugbear. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then there's Malum Curious, which is the Rothian. And I'd be really cool to see Malum Curious and Bug. Yeah. Bobby makes friends very easily. Yeah, Malum mm -hmm. is cool. They're really cool people. They seem really cool. You told me a lot of nice yeah. things about them. 
Yeah. Knight? About a about a rock about a Rothian? Yeah. What's wrong with Rothians? Yeah. I mean, you know their reputation, right? I mean, yeah, but I know orcs' reputations too. You know, Lakshay's reputations. Oh, sure, whatever. But you also just kind of find, you know, the orcs just in society, regular folks. Like you can see that, you know, they're just stories. They they, they don't apply to everybody, but like Rothians, they live out in the black. They only come out to raid villages. Yeah, but that's like if they're part of the hive mind or whatever. I, I, and Mel and Kirith here is presumably not. Oh no, no, Madam Kirith's not. They were, they were my friend, and they they were really cool. They um, you know, some they said sometimes, uh, Rothians they get made from. Their Primarchs, they get made, um... Well, the Primarchs call it, they get them, they get made wrong. But, uh, uh... Most most of the Rothians that are made that way don't feel that way, because they're made with... Like, free will and their own... Kind of perception of reality in the world, and... They can form their own thoughts and opinions, and... Uh, typically, when that's found out, that they're not just, like, part of the Hive, they're kicked out. And, um, that's why you don't see a lot of them around, because, um, yeah, because when a Rothian gets kicked out, they only live for a really short amount of time, because they eat, uh, psychic energy, I think, so, when they're on their ships, they get, like, infinite psychic energy, and they can, like, live forever, and they're, like, immortal or whatever, but then when they're off the ship, they're, they're just kind of living on what they ate before. So they only get a little while uh, before they, uh, or before they starve. That, that, uh, that, that sounds like a bad time. Yeah. Yeah, Madam Kurth was, had a couple real rough days where they were really going through it. Uh, you know, starving to death for ten years. So... Yeah, we had a lot of long talks about, like, the nature of life and, like, what it means to be alive and goals and hopes and dreams and, you know, everything. Uh, they, they fell into the Warhorde because the Warhorde was, like, you know, one of the only places that would take them. Because, uh, you know, most people thought of them kind of like you did. Hmm. Yeah, that, uh... Yeah, that makes sense. That's, uh, but you know, they, I'm sorry. They were... I, I I didn't mean to no. speak ill of your, your friend there. It is what it is. Uh, but, you know... Uh, uh, Madeline Kirith was cool. They had a lot of real, real crazy abilities and powers and they wanted to prove themselves they got all the way up to raider even they got promoted a couple times but uh you know they didn't really get promoted after that because even orcs wouldn't trust uh rothian in command so uh they kind of got up to the highest they could get to before they were leading ships on their own so uh we served under killer krieg and we had uh we, we had this game where we'd go around and uh Apparently, Rothians can do this thing where they, like, brain blast somebody and you just, like, get stunned for, like, a little bit. And mm. then, uh, it's kind of like you just black out, because I had them do it to me one time, because I was like, well, that's crazy, how does that even work? And then I, like, woke up, like, 18 seconds later. <laughs> uh, and, oh. and, uh, yeah, you just kind of black out. Uh, and, uh, and then you wake up and time has passed. <laughs> and, uh, you were just kind of stuck there. So we started pranking people on the ship and we just run around and be like, Barrr! and then we take a picture with them while they were stunned. <laughs> oh, okay. That's why they look so, uh, zoned out, I guess. Yeah, that's why Olivia, please don't kill me. He's barely even in that picture, yeah? <laughs> You've said that twice now. Is that Olivia's, like, legal last name? Don't, please don't kill me? <laughs> yeah, you know how bugbears work, right? Naming-wise? I guess I don't. Okay, uh, yeah, uh... So, 
Bugbear, I get to share so much of Orc stuff with you guys. It's cool. Um, so <laughs> you're bugbears, very good at telling stories, Bugbear. You're good at telling stories. God. Well, no, you're telling stories right now. Keep telling stories. 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 All right. Okay. Your Majesty. Uh, from your there. Uh, so, all right. Bugbears aren't given names when they're born. Uh, or sometimes they are, but you know, it's it's. It varies, but for the most part, bugbears pick their names as they progress through their lifetime, and typically they'll pick it based on what they think is the coolest, or the strongest, or the best, or whatever. They'll, like, pick it based off of how they're feeling in the moment, and then that's their name. And they typically go through, like, you know, seven to ten over a lifetime, give or take. Uh, some people, some some bugbears go through a lot. Some some barely go through any. You just nail it in one sometimes when you like two. Uh, but you know, most of them just go through life, pick a new name, and then that's their name. So uh, when I knew them first, they were Rog Rock Lakshe Bane. Uh, they were you know Slayer of the Lakshe, Bringer of Pain. Uh, and then um, and then as they t as they tell it, uh, one day they ran into. Uh, a, la a beautiful Lakshay human, which is not how that works. Uh, but <laughs> they were they ran into a beautiful Lakshay human, and uh, Rog Rock was like, "Tell me what is your name before I kill you." Something like that. And then uh, the person said, "Olivia, please don't kill me." And it was so beautiful that Rog Rock, after he killed her, naturally took her name. <laughs> And became Olivia, please don't kill me, and now embodies the essence of beauty, and is the and believes himself to be the most beautiful being in all of space. <laughs> like, like he absorbed the beauty through murder. Yeah, you just yeah you take the name again, the power, and Rog Rock uh, decided that Rog Rock was no longer a being of power and murder, but Rog Rock was a being of ethereal beauty, and so Rog Rock became Olivia, please don't kill me. Pursuer stays story. silent as his eye. <laughs> Pursuer stays silent as his eyes once again widen. Just <laughs> s quiet whir of the lens. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Bobin's nodding sagely as though he's he knows that this this message has been thoroughly passed to you guys. Purveyor of great wisdom. <laughs> you, I have imparted great wisdom upon you. Hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. that is. I can honestly say I did not know any of that before. Now, thank you for. Mm -hmm. This has been very educational. Anytime, I know lots of stuff. You just ask me about anything. Will will do. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> ah. Finger guns. <laughs> Goddamn! Cast the spell. <laughs> 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 But yeah, that's, huh. that's pretty much my stuff. Uh, Thank you for those sharing are cool, all cool that guys. Yeah, yeah, those mm -hmm. cool guys. Killer Krieg's a bad guy, and that's most of my stuff, yeah. Well, cool. Uh, yeah, thank you for, uh, thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was very illuminating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, certainly gained a whole new perspective on things. <laughs> and it sounds like you added a lot of light to all of your friends' lives. <laughs> You're all welcome. <laughs> your majesties. Uh, <laughs> Chip's crown. <laughs> <laughs> Smiles so wide at Bobin, like, we're doing it. Fucking do it. Let's go. Sarah do rolls it. his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh so, <laughs> from there we'll probably wrap yeah. up the patty prince unless anybody else got anything they want to talk about. Yep. No. Cool. I'll Hell cover yeah. it. Okay. Or find that flea market. <laughs> yep. All um, right. Also, keep an eye out for that thwirl, man. Oh, keep yeah, an eye. That, if we got time, yep. sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yep. Okay. So, what are you looking for at a flea market that you do find? Uh, I'm feeling like I'm looking for cool slash useful junk that I can repurpose for other stuff later. 
kind of okay. general supplies, mechanics, stuff like that. And then also, if possible, uh, plastic imagery of food, like plastic food, like fake food, it's like yeah. sitting fake around. Food. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Roll me a D100. You got it. I got this, y'all. Get ready. I believe in You're you. You're not ready. Shaboom. Damn. 23. A 23. Okay. You do find plastic fruit here. <gasps> Hell yeah. And it comes with the bowl and everything. Like, this is this thing is ready to be Perfect. painted. Perfect. Oh. Hooray. Mm -hmm. Perfect. How much? Uh, like, two credits. Done. Huh. <laughs> Swindled them. <laughs> I want you. to try to sleight of hand. Ted, can I do that? Because it's not physical money, it's credits, right? Yeah. Would I be able to sleight of hand Bobin like 10 credits somehow or no? You can just do it, Bobin's not yeah. gonna notice. You can yeah. just You can send credits to him. Okay. He'll kind of like PayPal. He'll, <laughs> like he'll yeah. PayPal Basically, and credit. Sick. Like, okay, sick. I'm gonna PayPal him ten credits. Bobin just never checks his transactions and is constantly sick. just shocked with whatever amount is in his account. Yeah. Okay, cool. You have ten more credits. <laughs> oh my <Yeah>. goodness. <laughs> That's cool. Sweet ten whole credits. Mm -hmm. I love shit like uh, that. Welcome. When yeah, <laughs> just like I love playing in this setting, just because you can do things like that. He's like, yeah, yeah. I can just PayPal you. Like, yeah. <laughs> like hell yeah, so I can go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hell yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, from there, help. just looking for like various scrap metal, scrap wire, scrap stuff, uh, so I can use to uh, just kind of make stuff in the downtime. Sure, we'll say that there is plenty of like scrap for you to purchase. Uh, I don't want to go into exactly sure, just what vague you find. scrap, vague scrap, you know, whatever. That's fine. I'm and, fine with that. Yeah, we'll say there's maybe about twenty credits worth of scrap here. Sure, I will take twenty credits worth of scrap. Cool, cool. Hell yeah, oh, cool. Got it, y'all. While, you, while uh, you're doing that and Soraya's trying to subtly PayPal you, mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I, I want to try and sleight of hand uh, take a picture of uh, of those two. Okay. Oh. Like both in the same, both in the same frame. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Roll a, Hello? roll a sleight of hand check. Sleight of hand. That's a six. Is it we we fully fucking notice and pose. Oh, like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's a million percent. That's a yeah, million I do percent the, what I'm do doing. Do a little, like, tongue stick out, two fingers, yep. like... Peace eh, sign. Like, <laughs> you would notice that he is trying to be stealthy about it, but yeah. That's Fuck fine. Yeah. A pose. <laughs> okay. Yeah, posing. Sure posing. All right. Just assume he's one of those weird camera guys who's got to get a perfect angle and yeah. needs some sort of weird way to do it. Hell Yeah. <laughs> He, like, takes a look at, like, the photo and realizes that you definitely knew <laughs> that he was taking a photo. <laughs> and <laughs> you see his, like, fucking, I don't know, ears wiggle or something, and he quickly puts his data pad away. Sure, you should send that to me. It seems like it's going to be a really cute picture. Send what to you? What? Pharaoh. What? That guy? I wasn't doing anything. Mm -hmm. I think he just oh, he wants to keep it for himself. He wants to keep it for himself. He just wants the cute picture of me and you for you just, himself. You okay. can just say you like to keep mementos, Sparrow. No, 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 nothing, nothing like that. I'm just keeping mm -hmm. a proper log of a mission so that mm -hmm. if we need to go over mm -hmm. our activities later, we Are have taking records. pictures of your friends? Is no. that what's happening? Because if that's oh, but... true, then I think that all of us should group together. Yeah. And we should take yeah, a big yeah. group picture so you have one of those. You know, you know, Sparrow, if I didn't have a big group picture of all these together, it would make it so hard for me to do my job. <gasps> that would make it so hard to fly, do the do my job if I didn't have a picture of everybody together, you oh. know. Well, it's for all of our safety. That was that Sparrow. was the fake excuse you used when you were scared of the thrill, right? <laughs> God damn it, that is <laughs> Oh my god, that is good. First time of boom. 
That is not what I'm doing. We don't need to take a group picture or anything. We don't need to. We're, I'm sure. moving over to him. Yes, same <laughs> thing. <laughs> moving over, got my camera app ready. We, I get yanking. I'm like pulling on Pursuer, wherever he is, so I fucking get him in the picture, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are temporary <laughs> allies at best. We are not friends. We do not need. Oh, that's a sick picture. band name. <laughs> temporary allies. Temporary allies. <laughs> oh, my God. No. No, release me, release me from your clutches. <laughs> Quick, Bowman, take pursuer, the picture. <laughs> pursuer gives like, Pursuer gives like Sparrow like little scratches behind behind the air. Whatever you say, little buddy. Mm. Dead. <laughs> uh, Sparrow. Yeah. I like to ask you, what is going through your mind as you are being pulled into this group photo? Oh no. Oh. Uh so so many things like he ran into this group looking at them with nothing but suspicion like because he's like every person he has ever tried to trust over the last four years has you know like either betrayed him or disappeared like it's it's never gone well mm -hmm. and he is so ready for anyone to betray him at a moment's notice but like these guys are just so earnestly weird <laughs> that he like can't help but kind of like them and will never admit to that. <laughs> like they seem so goddamn genuine that like they're just like kind of forcing down his defenses a little bit. It's like, I can't see you as a threat, and that makes me feel like I am setting myself up for pain, but also I really want this to be true. Oh. <laughs> they remind so, you I of your, uh, in some aspects, of your, your old crew, your old team. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a, it's a familiar feeling. Mm hmm. Yeah. Which also adds to the complicated nature of his emotions in this moment. Totally. So, yeah, in summation, his face looks fucking weird in this photo. Like he's feeling about seven different emotions, and they're all somewhere on his face somewhere. Huh. Huh. Yeah. Which one will the photo capture? They will capture his truest self. Oh. <laughs> Cat like man. His, his eyes are angry. Like his fur is kind of standing on end. His tail is wagging. And like he kind of looks like he's kind of smiling a little bit, like at the corners of his mouth. Soraya is for sure doing bunny ears behind Sparrow. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bobin's got one hand holding the camera. Mm -hmm. uh, other other arm probably around Soraya. Heck yeah. Getting us all in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got heckin' one arm doing the bunny with Sparrow and then heckin' pulling in Pursuer with the other one. How about Pursuer? Mm hmm. What's he doing? Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Pursuer's just got, you know, one arm. Uh, around uh, uh, Soraya and another one around uh, Bobin. Hmm. Is he making any particular type of face or is he... What's going through his mind as well? Was, uh, he's, he's still, you know, on edge and worried about, you know, the allegiances of other people on the crew, but he feels pretty confident about this particular group uh, here. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, without his usual backup, bounty hunting can be a pretty lonely business. So he uh, he appreciates having at least you know at least Sparrow, you know, someone that he he knows and can trust, and uh, is uh, growing uh, growing to include uh, Bobin and uh, Soraya in that category as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, stay two. I was to say the they gotta work for it a little bit more. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Picture is taken. There are awkward faces. Well, face in there. Um, mm -hmm. 
It's a very nice photograph. Oh, I need art, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. Tree Sparrow is all blurry because he's like trying to escape like a cat <laughs> reeling on your crib. Yeah! <laughs> he's like mid yelling at us about not yeah. wanting to take the picture. <laughs> then the second it's done, he's like, Yo, can you like send me a copy of that for, uh, for the log? Oh, okay, course. but only if you send a copy of the one of me and Bulbin. Your terms are acceptable. <laughs> Put my hand up for high five from Bowman. And with that picture taken, I believe that is a good spot to end today's session of Sweet and D. Oh, I want to keep oh, playing! Yeah. I want to keep going! I get that. Uh, but we're at time. I ain't so. hear no bell, Smith. Yep. I ain't hear no bell. <laughs> I'd like to, but... gotta keep going. <laughs> Uh, we've been we've been ending way too late. Re uh, I know, uh, no, I you're right. I but, get that. But it's never whatever, too late. though. Chase is not even in his own home. Listen, it's I know. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. So but still, yeah, we'll pick this up in a couple weeks. Yeah, yeah. it'll be a good time. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh. Oh. So yeah. Uh, thank you guys. <laughs> So much for joining us for this episode of Sweet and D. We're going to end. Uh, we're going to end right there. Uh, see you later. Uh, oh, <laughs> goodbye, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. 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 See you in the stars. Woo. See you in the stars. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Everybody's still in Riverside. That make That's great. That's great. <laughs> oh, we did it. Good job, everybody. All right. Uh, so we need somebody to raid now. Heck yeah. You're right. I was going to fully suggest uh, hmm. because uh, Jonah is starting his own D&D &D <gasps> game today. <laughs> Mr. And Hayden's in that. But yeah. they're, they haven't like started started yet. They're oh, supposed no. to start at 6 p.m. And they're like nine minutes late. So I don't know oh, if you no. want to. Send Frick. a bunch of boys over to a stream that hasn't started yet. <laughs> like, uh, that's, uh, let's maybe not. Yeah. Um, oh man, I'm sorry. We'll send y'all yeah. to the big piss in two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we can. Let's see. Cody's going. He's playing Yakuza like a dragon. Uh, Stream Ooh. Four Star is playing Persona Three. That just came out, and that looks really fun. Um, Y'all really fun. Got him. Aaron's going. He's playing Escape from Tarkov. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cody. Yeah, why don't we send him to Cody? Yeah, yeah we, have, we haven't we rated Cody in a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A good, good bean. Oh. Yeah, no. what, what stream message do we want uh, on Twitch? Uh, <gasps> Your Majesty. Your <laughs> Majesty. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Thank your Majesty. Oh Hell my God. yeah. When we took the photo, were we still wearing the crown? Of course I we sure were. Oh, so. yep. <laughs> Okay, I feel cool. like you all forgot about that, like, or at least Sparrow did. He forgot about yeah. the crown on his head. <laughs> so when he looks at the yeah. picture later, he's like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I need to die. I need to die to yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. I can't believe they have a record. Yeah. It's so funny. Oh That's what's going to go on the wanted posters, y'all. Right. Hell <laughs> yeah, bitch. <laughs> all right. So... This is Summoner's Network. Uh, they are a very, very sweet person. And uh, they're going to be playing some Yakuza like a dragon. So I can, yeah, yell at them, give them kind Rainy. words, and hang out with Rainy. them. They're very good. Absolute sweetie. Yeah. Ooh. They're so powerful. Go get them. So powerful. Mm -hmm. Get them. All right. Thank you for joining us for episodes five and six of the Crypt yeah. Star Saga. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. We'll catch you guys yeah. next time. Yeah, yeah, thanks again to make sure I'm dressed in the description. Get your own links. Appreciate you all.